What is up, gamers? I am joined here today with the God Rom Latalis Venator. What's up, Latalis? Greetings, everybody. Hey, can y'all hear him okay? Real quick, mic check. One, two, one, two. How's the audio? <laughs> What's up, guys? How you guys doing today? What's up? It's been a long time since I've done one of these videos um, and streams. I've uh, just been real busy doing a lot of cool stuff for you guys. Latalis has been working two jobs like a real man. And we just haven't had a chance to coordinate this. Uh, and due to some, I, I think it's a good thing, some for, unforeseen events where Latalis decided to change, make a little change in his life. Uh, we ha now have the time to actually uh, make this damn a uh, stream happened. We've been wanting to break down around for a minute. And he'd be like, yo, devil, yeah. when, do you work this day? I'm like, yeah. He's like, what about this? Day? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, what about you? What about this? He's like, yep, I work this day and then this night. And I'm like, fuck. So it's just, it's just been like bad. <laughs> but yeah, we're back here, baby. What's up, guys? Um, So today we're going to go ahead and break down the dedicated KI grappler known as General Rom. Would you agree with that statement there, Latalis, or what? Pretty much, like. What kind of character other... is Rom? Sorry, what? I was gonna say, what kind of character is Rom to you? You were gonna say something. Go ahead. Uh, to me, well, everybody knows who Zangief is, the classic grappler from Street Fighter. Rom mm -hmm. is what Zangief wants to be. He might be the strongest, like, just pure grappler to ever be created. Whoa, that's a big statement, bold statement. Yeah, actually, that's true because he has great buttons. He's got poison dot damage. He's got projectile vulnerable special moves and shadows. Um, focus attack. Yeah. Great anti-air. He gets pressure off of almost everything. Like what you'll see when we go into the actual thing, he'll, he gets pressure off of almost any straight hit, whether it's a command grab or just any straight normal almost. Yeah, and not only that, like I know it shouldn't matter, but the fact that you don't have to execute or have a circle motion to get a, a command grab out is huge. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so I was going to ask you a couple questions. Um, what made you kind of like want to pick up General Rom? We know you're a uh, Aganos main. What was the chain? What was the point of that? What's, what's up with that? I've always played tank slash grappler type characters and fighters, which is stems back to Marvel superheroes. The Hulk's always been my favorite superhero. And then like I was an old school wrestling fan as well. So I always gravita grav gravitated to the, towards those kind of characters. Mm -hmm. So okay. like, you know, when Marvel Marvel superheroes came out. I always I played the Hulk naturally, and then when I, when other fighters came out, uh, when I played other fighters, I naturally gravitated to that kind of character. So you like the big body fellas? Yeah. You gonna play Potemkin and Guilty Gear, or what's the deal with that? Probably. <laughs> I'll try. I'll try everybody in that game, but like I'm, naturally, I'm gonna try him, and I'll try to try to other big dude with the longest sword. I'm not can't remember what his name is. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. But uh so yeah, what got you into KI? I know it's probably an unknown already unknown answer, but I'm kinda curious as what got you into KI. Yeah, I played the old I, I played the old school games a lot with my family, like on the Super Nintendo and everything. So like when naturally when I heard twenty thirteen was coming back, which I jumped right on it. That's awesome. There wasn't really a true heavyweight there than like the closest with Thunder, but he's more brawler than grappler kind of. So who did you play before Aganos came out and, and Rom? Uh, season one and two, I prim season one I primarily played Thunder and Spinal. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. It's interesting. Yeah. Hmm. All and right. Then, like, once I came out, like I played, I put, I picked him up in store, store stop and dropped sports. When Aganos came out, I slowly started dropping everybody else I used because I didn't. I played Thunder and Spinal the most. So I didn't kind of didn't have a true main. I just kind of jumped around the castle a lot. Once mm. Agnos came out, I stuck with him the most, and then sometime later I picked up Own as well, just to cause school Maya look. back. But, yeah. Oh, okay. All right, awesome, dude. So, are you ready to get started on this breakdown? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. So, what are we gonna talk about first? Yeah, just start with his normals first, since that's a unlike a lot of characters in Ki, that's a huge part of his game. Like even more so than normal. So, who do you want to pick then? Uh, you can actually. I'd rather you go Shadow Jago this time, just because one of his key normals is better. Just be on him already. And he has the same. He has similar functions as Jago, so it'll be fine. Okay, sounds good. If you guys have any questions in the chat, feel free to ask them. Um, I will. We will try to get to them between segments. Just be patient with us, okay? We're gonna make sure we get to all of them. So if you guys have any questions, it, even if you feel like they're kind of scrubby, like what is this? Like, don't feel embarrassed. No, there's no such thing as a dumb question, unless well, yes, there is actually. Never mind. But 
Not if you're trying to learn. <laughs> Not if you're trying to learn something and you don't know what it means. So go ahead and ask anything, okay? All right. So the first thing first, when it comes to this character of normals, there's only three buttons that aren't that aren't either plus or like less than minus two. First, we'll start off with his jab, his stand jab. This is plus. This is on the plus two, plus two or plus one. I can't remember. It's good because it can chain and it can like it leaves it leaves him in range of his light crow, light command throw even after he does two of them. So like block that, then mm -hmm. yeah, you can do that. That's crazy. That's a light one. Yes, yeah, both of his light buttons do that, and they're both four frames, and they're both on a plus two as well. Jesus. So he can chain him those. He can do three. Yeah, he can do three, but that'll throw him out of grab range. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. After that, you have a stand light kick. This is plus three on. This is some a plus three on block. And if he does this on counter hit, it's ridiculously plus as well. Like. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> can I keep hitting you? <laughs> Oh my god, it's, can it combo into yeah. only on counter hit? It chains into each other and you can combo it to almost any button essentially, like... Try to do it again. Gotcha, I'll keep matching heavy kick. Whoops. More heavy punch. So basically, oh, was it like plus like seven or something? I can't remember how it plus it is when it hit exactly, but like, he can chain it to, he can chain it to almost any button on counter hit. Yep, he can even he can change to a stand hard punch even like I just did there. Jeez. Dang, that's gotta be at least plus nine or something. Yeah, something like hit. that. I can't remember the exact data, but it's like the only button he can't chain it to is that. And like well, it's, it's like what's like like twenty frame heavy kick? Something like that. But mm -hmm. that's the stand like kick that's the stand light kick. It's a, it's one of his most important buttons and then like it's all also has another application to it. Like if you knock them down, it flips people out. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, that's an it's an, it also functions as a, as a as a mix up tool for him as well. So like a lot of his normals have multiple purposes to them. Oh really? Yeah. All right, but yeah, that's essentially his stand light kick. It's a good pressure tool. It's ridiculously plus one hit and it flips people out. Plus, it's plus three on block and plus like nine on hit. So that's ridiculous. Yeah, if counter hit, like if you do counter hit, it's like plus. He can just combo into almost any button off of it. That's ridiculous. Naturally, next you have his crouch light kick. It's a decent, it's a decent low because it's fast. It's a four frame light. It's a four frame low hit, low hitting move. It's minus two on block, so he can still tick throw with it as well. Like. Even on a hit? Yeah. Jesus. And like it's one of it is it's one of his main combo starters as well. It's a low threat, so Okay, okay. Stand, like, the stab. This isn't as plus on hit as his other buttons, but it's still like a pretty important normal for him, mainly for reset potential and everything. Mm -hmm. Especially after the flip out, because one thing about ROM's flip out, it has a longer it has a it's harder to buffer reversals out of it, so you can catch a lot of people trying to hold up and everything. Yeah, I notice whenever I, like there'll be a lot of times where Ram will do a flip out on me with the light kick, or just yeah. any person, and they'll be like, "I popped instinct." It's just because it just it doesn't yeah. allow you, it doesn't have that buffer timing. It yeah, eats it up. Buffer and other characters. Mm -hmm. They probably buffered it when they when they're used to you know popping it, but not like exactly when they need to. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let me change the song real quick. Uh, for this, I forgot to put it to Ram's theme. Oh, yeah, sure. But yeah, like so, pretty much Ram has just got like. You said there's no negative buttons? He does, like, stand light kick is minus two, but, like, it's rare that it's, there's only a few buttons he can't really tick through off of us, so, like, the threat of the throw is almost is on, is there off of almost all of his buttons. Most of them mm -hmm. are plus, at worst, most of them are minus two. I see. All right, I got the Shago picked. I'm going to pick the right uh, song. This okay. time. Let's see if I get it. Oh, I did it wrong. <laughs> no. Okay. I haven't. I don't change music. Whatever. Look, we're gonna get past this. Okay. So what are so like you said? So that we checked out his light kick, his uh, standing light punch, crouching light punch, standing light kick, crouching light kick. So what else we got now? Yeah. Over his medium buttons next. Okay. 
Earth is a stand medium punch. Like, this is fast at six frames. Ow. It's a good medium button, has pretty good range on it, too. So it's like a, it's a good footsie tool for him. About the same range. And minus one, so it still leaves it still leaves the threat of the throw there as well on block and everything. You gotta just know that's coming. Yeah. Jesus Christ, that like, range. Yeah, then naturally he can confirm off of it. Like, mm -hmm. like confirm his light stab off it. We'll go into his specials later, but like... Yeah, it's, it's another it's just another starter for him. It's a pretty good footsie tool for him as well as because like it's a fast it's a fast button with decent range on it. Mm -hmm. Crouch light his crouch medium punch is also pretty similar. It's, it's seven frames instead of six, but it has slightly more range than his stand medium punch does. So it's still a pretty good button overall. And just like his stand medium just like his stand medium punch is only minus one. Then again, certain characters Shago isn't one of them. He can actually uh, use these buttons from from certain enough range to make him immune to shadow counters. Let me see. Like, Shago isn't one of these characters. Oh, he isn't one. No, oh, because like, he'll, he'll, Shadow Count will give him time to block because of the gap, huh? Like, characters like Maya and Sadira, who, like, who are, who's are, like, a little slower. Maybe I Arya. I can't, like, remember everybody else. Interesting. I didn't know that. But, yeah. Those are his two main... Those are his two medium punches. Yeah, just finish it off here. Mm-hmm. You'll see Ron players throw those buttons out. To, like try and check somebody walking forward maybe use a whiff punish because like you know certain characters like maybe you're fighting saber if he tries to dive claw if you're just out of range that's the perfect whiff punish opportunity for him so crafting medium punches to go to for whiff punishes when it comes to like just trying to get a quick one yeah like stand medium punch if you know the range like you know stand medium punch is a little faster and then like crouch medium punch is a, is a little has a little more range on it so just recognize which situation which one for which one will be better understood makes a lot of sense all right all right, so next we'll go over his um uh this is probably his most important button, which is his stand hard punch. What about the medium kick? I want to save that for later, just because. Oh be yeah, explain. yeah, I forgot. I forgot it's got a lot. It's got a lot of, a lot of functionalities. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, let's that go. That one has a lot of, function, but like this button has great range on it. It's plus one on block, so like. And like on counter hit, this is I, I think this can actually counter um, a combo to his heavy stab. One of it normally doesn't. Can't, he, oh yeah, yeah, okay. He can't do that, but like this is one of the few buttons that can do that. Like if he does it on counter hit. That range like, is ridiculous. Is main, the main footsie button is also plus one, so it's a good pressure tool for him as well. So this makes a lot of this button makes it very hard to, for for a lot of characters to fight him on the ground just because they can't contest with it. Well, if I could, let's see let's see the range real quick. Good, good steps. That's as far as I'll hit, right? Yeah. Okay, now let me see if I can hit you from that far. Stay still. Stay still. I have to get mad close. Yeah, like By most comparison. Characters, few characters who can really contest with this button reliably. And it's plus one? Damn. Yeah, it's plus one on block. It's pretty insane. Yeah. And it's like 200% more damage. If you guys don't know, in KI, the first strike of a of a combo, or just any raw hit, is 200% damage compared to what it normally is. So you take double the damage on the first hit of any combo, or any raw hit. So he's he's poking at you this whole time, and you're trying to get in. You're not worried about it. Next thing you look up at your health bar, where to go? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like good. some characters can go profile this burden button with certain moves, so like you have to you have to be careful with that. I don't know if Shaco can do that with his uh, with his crouch medium kick really, but like certain characters can use certain specials. Like Wolf, he can like slide under it and stuff like that. Try so try swinging it over and over. I'm gonna see if I can do it on my timing. Keep swinging it. Nope, can't. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Jango can do. I think it's only buttons that like hit extremely low moves that hit extremely low. Like wolf, like, like crouching sweep or slow or slide or Hisako's forward dash maybe. Like Hisako can like low profile it too, so you have to be careful about throwing the button out button out mindlessly sometimes. I think I've seen Charbok actually forward dash uh, that button once or once or twice in my lifetime. You know the button is plus like certain specials will be fast enough to, like interrupt it if you keep trying to just spam it, so you do have to be careful about that as well. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
but that's a stand hard punch. It has great range, it's plus, and it's probably his most, his most important neutral button overall. But next, we'll get onto his two, his two most powerful pressure options, at least in my opinion. First one being stand medium kick. So this button's plus two on block. It's the one you'll see ROM players go through, go for it a lot after command throw, just because it catch it catches most back dashes as well, and it's like it's much like his um a uh, crouch light kick or a stand light kick is it's extremely plus on hit. Like he doesn't even have to do counter hit. Like holy he shit! He can, stand, he can just do stand hard punch like, off of it. Then just like I'm a. Uh, just like his st his um, uh, stand light kick, this button also does hit off the ground as well. Mm. It, it just caught a little ground bounce from him. He can get certain setups off versus certain characters, but I'll go into that later. You can probably close out a, close out a command grab or like a kill or a life bar off that stomp, huh? Yeah, you can. Like if you if you um, uh, if they're low on life and they you just stomp and it can end up killing them if they don't. Like the stomps themselves don't do a lot of damage, but like because I've seen you like close yeah. out a life bar on it, like just like that. It all. And you gotta remember, guys. Like, so go ahead and knock me down real quick. Yeah. And stomp me. You could break that with mediums. So yeah, you can't break that, but you gotta be careful breaking that move because Rom counter breaks you on that. It's like the single most damaging counter break combo in the game. It's yeah. If he has two bar. I don't want to risk Especially that for him. If he has instinct as well, counter break or pop instinct. He has the krill applied, which we'll get into later, but that's just like another thing. If he counter breaks you on that button, he has max resources. It's like the single most damaging counter break combo in the game, even more so than like mirror or so. Golly. But yeah, that's just another thing about a stand medium kick. He can also faint it. Oh. Like if you hold, yeah, if you just hold forward and press it, he'll, he'll like faint it out. So you can, you can spook he, someone. Just, like, kills as well like he'll do he'll um, uh, he'll frame kill, he'll like paint it a couple times and he'll go for a frame kill off of that can you give me an example like of that. like a frame kill of that uh yeah like so one two then do stand medium kick oh wow close the gap and frame kills makes it meaty yeah but that's a stand medium kick it's mainly used for pressure okay okay it's plus two on block insanely plus on hits since he can go into just about anything off of it and like you know it, it hits off the ground and like you do want to play that counter break game with him if you have max resources or he has instinct you have to watch it because if he's right on the counter breaker you're likely not going to be getting back up from it understood but on top of that we have his other big pressure tool this is mainly used in the corner is i'm a stand hard kick this button's plus one on block, so it's, it's a pretty, it's a good pressure tool for him as well. And it's a stagger. And so for those stagger, of you, then, yeah. Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. But, I was gonna yeah, say, like, yeah, um, a... stagger is pretty much. If you guys don't know this, because I know there's a lot of newcomers asking about ROM. A stagger in KI is essentially like a mid-screen or anywhere wall splat. It has the same properties yeah. in, in KI. A wall splat in there, which we'll get to later kind of um allows you to go for a throw a reset a command grab uh and stagger allows you to do that anywhere so he has that ability but like this is the main thing you'll see this is probably one of ron's most impre important pressure tools in the corner because since it staggers it allows him to chain into any of his command throws active as hell yeah and it's plus one on block so he can tick throw off of it as well like he normally could like he could off of almost any of his other buttons. I right, try. Right. I I I tried hitting jab and I got thrown. Yeah, so like that button's plus on block. It's active, so it can it can be used to catch back dashes. Like Shago would be a little harder just because how good his is, but like yeah, just because how good Shago's back dash is, it's more it's a little harder to meet him with it. But it will catch a lot of back dashes and naturally a stagger, so he can like go right into his heavy command throw. That's so just that's free damage. Yeah, like 26. that's that's more than a level two combo for most characters. That's by the way, that's unbreakable. So like stagger into his command throw is free yeah, twenty like, six damage. Twenty six percent damage. And then you can go for a flip out afterwards too, if you want to be a yeah. little more greasy. Which is so like, like crazy. You no. Know, just about everything leads into a mix up for his character. All of his buttons, they're either plus or they leave him they leave they're at advantage enough for him to take throw even for like minus thrower. 
minus one or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So like if this character is near you, you're just it's just a constant threat. But that's the main application of his stand hard kick. Like a you know naturally since he's a stagger, he can do things like that as well. He can do a stagger one chance wall splat into stagger yeah. command grab. Does that like hurt a lot? Yeah, it does. I'm uh, actually this might if I do this, it might it'll probably kill him. Whoops. Yeah. He can even do krill after the wall splat just to poison him, which we'll talk yeah. about later. That's awesome. This character's awesome. Yeah, that's why I said he's probably the strongest like pure grapple I've ever I've ever seen because they essentially took what took Street Fighter Four Zangief, who was already really good in that game, and just dialed it up to eleven. Oh man, he's awesome. I kind of want to try him now. Just off his buttons alone. All right. Next. I think we're going right, to talk. So he, has more, he has two more normals left. Uh, both of his, his, uh, crouch, his crouch medium kick and his sweep. Oh, his crouch heavy punch, too. Oh, yeah, his crouch heavy punch, which is, also another, which is also another one of his more important buttons. So his crouch heavy punch, it's, a, it's one of the best anti-airs in the game. Mainly because he can go into so much off of it. Like, if he does it, he gets Oki off He gets Oki off of it. He can do that. Or, you know. It's still it worth it. <laughs> yeah. And you know what's cool? You could, like, cancel off of it, too, right? Yeah. Like that. He can do that. He can do that. Like, he can do that, or he can cancel into a stab, or he can just, like, let the knockdown do let, let the knockdown sit and do things like that. Oh. That's tricky. That's scary. So there's a lot to this character. Like this is also this is also somewhat of a multi-purpose button just because of all he can go into it off of. Like what do you mean so exactly? Like, do it again. like so if you're near the corner, mm -hmm. like just jump again. Oops. So yeah, and then you dash up and then like go for another mix-up off of that. That sucks. Yeah. And now 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 you're in the corner. And you have the best. Now I'm in the corner, and you have all this these buttons. Like yeah, alpha, yeah. alpha so, anti air. Yeah, he can pester a lot of characters with that button. That's awful. That's crazy. Ugh. But, yeah, that's his. That's his stint. That's his crouch hard punch, which is one of the best anti airs in the game, and he can chain it into multiple things. So like, you can go for krill. You can just let it stick. Go for a mix up, or you can like him uh, go into the staff for more for a little more corner carry. Yeah, you could push him all the way to the corner of that that lunge. Okay. Uh, next we have crouch medium kick this isn't a bad button because of the range it has like it's a good it's a pretty far reaching low but it's minus four on block so you more want to try and use it to try and check people like catch them like maybe try and catch a back dash or something like that or just do a low or just for a, a long range low confirm mm -hmm. there's not Actually, much to say about this it's can it can it outreach me like, it doesn't reach as far as, as, his, as his other normals, but it's still a pretty decent reach in buttons, and he can, like, uh, naturally can confirm off of it. So it's still, a, it's still an important part, for, part of his tool set. Like, so, like, a couple of ROM players will, like, do empty jump low, and then, like, um, uh, they'll do delay, they'll do delay crouch medium kick to catch a back dash or so. Hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. The next and, you know, is, you know, minus four isn't even that bad, considering, like, it pushes you back a little bit, and it goes so far, you can't really punish it. Yeah, it still, it still leaves him safe. It's just like he doesn't get the same he doesn't get the same threat off of it as he would his other buttons. It's like right. things for from a far away. Mm -hmm. We're like trying to catch something, maybe. Going for that low poke hit confirm from max range, pretty much. Yeah. But out of his grounded normals, the last one we have is his sweep. It's pretty good because. <laughs> Yeah, like he just does a drop kick, but the this is actually a pretty good move because one is minus five. So then like even on block, it pushes back so far that characters really can't do anything about it. So yeah, like it's pretty good. And then like unlike most sweeps, it can't be low crushed either, just due to how big he is. Oh seriously? All right, let yeah, me try. So, like... Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be low crush one. In cases like Agonos is actually very important because you know that forward hard kick he does that low crushes. So oh, like and it's it... minus five. So like you know it's minus five. It just pushes so far back that most characters can't really do anything about it. Let me see how far five. pushes back again. 
That's insane. Yeah, so like, it's a pretty good, as far as sweeps go, it's pretty damn good. Like, just for, I'm only, I'm only using a certain matchup. Oh yeah, like, this is another thing I want to show about this. Like, try and use, try and do air fireballs with Shago. Okay, like what? Like, fireball. Oh, you mean like, like yeah, low? Like, try and jump it or like. Like you mean like this? Yeah, like try and jump forward with it. Like it can kind of be a situational anti-air matchup like this. Like if you see him, uh, if Shago does the fireball at the wrong time, he can like catch him with the sweep on the way down. I'm sorry. I think he's going too early. Yeah, it's just a little too high. But like, if you see them trying to go for the fireball really low to the ground, just so they, they try to make it so. What if I try to it. like uh, hit you in the air, like of a beam kick like this? Will it hit me? Or no? No, it won't. It won't hit you like that. It's mainly used for situational purposes, like that. Like mm -hmm. versus this in like certain situations with Gargus when he tries to go for some certain certain shenanigans off of a sweep, of just because how big Rom is, it'll end up anti-airing certain characters. And you know what's weird, dude? Like, never thought about this, but there'll be moments where, I'll, like, when I play TJ, I'll have, the, like, the plus frames, yeah. and I'll go for, like, a, a tremor just, like, to mix them up while they're crouching, and you'll sweep yeah. me, and I'm like, why is that hit? Now I know yeah. why. It, yeah, like, this move can't be low crush just due to how big the character is. TJ doesn't go high enough for it. It just hits him. Oh, shit. Makes sense. That's pretty, so like, as far as sweeps go, it's actually pretty strong, but like, he doesn't, he just doesn't need to use it as much in most cases. Like, for certain matchups, you want to use it more, but like, in general, he just doesn't need it as much because his other buttons are so good. That's interesting. I didn't know that. I didn't but know that. Pretty, He's hard, high, a hitbox. Well, actually, I'm not sure if we should count this as a normal or not, but... It's a normal, in my opinion. In a lot of ways. Well, yeah. Another thing for him, like, this is his Krill Shield, press all three punches together, this move is... This move is plus eight on block, so if you block it, just don't try to challenge it. It's essentially, for those of you who are wondering, it's essentially a Street Fighter 4 focus attack. And yeah, fully, it is unblockable and it staggers, and it applies to Krill to them as well. Like, my grounded heavy won't break it. You see, like... Yeah, it's function like normal armor. So in this game, in this game, I'll explain real quick before we get to the next, like, fight. KI, armor, armored moves can be interrupted or nullified completely. Uh, by grounded heavy normals only, not special moves, not you know air air heavies, only grounded heavy buttons. So, what makes you let's go ahead and go get started. What makes Rom unique is the fact that his armor is unique to him. So like, if he does the krill armor, it won't break his armor. See, it won't break it. Yeah. He'll absorb it. He'll absorb any one physical attack and it'll absorb. It'll absorb projectiles for the entire duration of the move. So he'll Even use jump it. In. So it's a pretty powerful anti-zoning tool for him. Yeah, it can be used as an anti here as well. Uh, now I'm so poisoned, like, by the way. Yeah, now yeah, and it adds the poison to them. So like, this is another pretty important tool for him because like, another thing too off of this, he can cancel it. He can cancel that off of. He can cancel that off of any normal. Or special. Let me build you meter block. Up. Yeah. Yeah, like if he has enough meter, which you, I block. You hit me. He only needs half a bar, and you'll see the, you'll see his um, legs start swarming there. That's when he that's when he has access to his krill cancels. So like him, um, uh, he can do any normal, and then like Jeez. cancel into that. Only so normals. Just like attacking like him um, off a of Street Fighter four, pretty much. But only normals or or specials too. He can do specials too. Like the only moves he the only moves he can't cancel it off are like him um, uh, his emergence, which is what which is another special go over later like that. His sweep and his command throw, those are the only things he can't cancel it off of. I see. So he, he can cancel it off of anything else, though. Like, any of his stabs he can cancel it off of, and, like, um, uh, any normal he can cancel it off of outside of his sweep, pretty much. That's interesting. I'm going to build you a bar so you can show him more, another example of it. Uh, yeah, like, he has a... Uh, but, yeah, essentially, he needs half a bar to do it at any time. But yeah, you canceling this, canceling this. Can tab, you go backwards? Like, yeah, you can. Which can also be used to bait out certain character shadow counters as well. Like if he does this to Sadira and he like backdashes, it'll actually complete her shadow counter with, and he can just punish her for it. Interesting. Very dangerous. Very so dangerous. We'll say what that again. I'm sorry, your mic kind of like dimmed out there. Uh, it's just another layer to the mix-up for him overall. Like, he's oh, mixed up as in his flashy of some characters, but it's just sheer brutality, pretty much. Interesting. 
Awesome. I think the fact that it's um, armored like that, like unique armor, is awesome. But there is one way to defeat it, though, right? So if I just, yeah, like shadows will always beat it. Like, throwing no him. What, yeah, throwing him naturally will beat it, and like shadows will also beat it. And multiple hitting moves, so, like, like if I just like if you yeah, just do it real quick. Any normal that, any normal that hit enough times will also beat it naturally. Yeah. Yeah, like it only appears on physical attack, but, it, but like um, uh, even a shadow, like it'll absorb normal projectiles, but if Shago does shadow fireball, it won't. Yeah, it'll just beat it out. Yeah, or if he does, or if he does like shadow slide or anything. But one thing to keep in mind is that like, even if it even if it catches the shadow on the startup, the krill shield will still win out. Mm -hmm. So you gotta be careful with that. Interesting. Yeah, and the move does stagger on counter hit as well, but that might be a little harder to show just how the move works. But yeah, I'll do like a. Yeah, That's insane. Go. So yeah, the move staggers on counter hit or if he fully charges it. So you could essentially punch him with that counter hit stagger command throw while they're still poisoned, by the way. Yep. And stomp them while they're still poisoned, and they'll pretty much lose like forty percent health. Like something like that. Or thirty get forty. Into his combo. I'll show you just how much he can get off a of level one with that kind of stuff. Okay, sounds good. But next we'll go over his air normals, which are also really, really strong. Remember when everyone was saying this character sucked? <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's house new better. First off, we'll start with his jump light punch. Like, this is a really good air to air for him. Due to how hmm. fast it is, like, a, it's a really good air to air for him. Like, you'll see, you'll see me use this a lot in a Sadira matchup, mainly just to catch her trying to keep her out of the sky. That's mainly what I use for it. And like another thing about his air normals, they all leave him right in throw range. Oh yeah, that's true. So keep, yeah, all this air normals leave him right in throw range, pretty much. Interesting. His jump medium punch, which is also another good air to air. It's not quite as fast, but it has a little more range, so he can do it from a little farther away. He's yeah, act he's like pretty active too. Yeah, jump light kick, it just leaves him right in throw range. Okay. But yeah, those, are his, those moves are mainly his two main air to airs. His jump light kick as well, but I'll go over that one a little later, because that's also another multi-purpose uh, air normal for him. Mm -hmm. for, next, we'll go over his jump medium kick and his jump hard kick. These ones are mainly used for approaching, just because how far they actually reach. So, like, jump medium kick, it has... It has a pretty, it has pretty good range on it. Like he can clip them, like from pretty much right here. Mm -hmm. Does it cross up? No, it doesn't. He has two cross ups, but we'll go over those buttons later. Just because, like, I want to, I want to show special, special things off of those. Okay. So yeah, that's his jump medium kick. Like I'm a. Uh, that's that's more used for approaching, and like his jump hard kick, which has just ludicrous range on it overall. Ugh, man, that move sucks. In a, in, a, in, a, in, your, in a good way for you. Yeah. I've been kicked by that move so many times. I'm trying to anti-air it. Off of his jump hard kick, he can combo into any, in either his light or medium stab on it. So if you see someone trying to guess break a lot, they can just they have to guess on what, which one is which strength it is right there. I'm sorry, I blocked it. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that oh. that's medium. And then like the other one is light. You know, then the course on hard on course on the counter, he can he can count combo into heavy as well. That's interesting. But All yeah, right. those two are used for his approach. But now I'll go over his cross up buttons. Mainly his jump light kick, which can get really ambiguous. Like I wanna go go talk about a few things for this normal. Like it can cross up. That thing was in front of me, bro. Yeah, it can cross up. What the and fuck? He can hit it extremely low to the ground as well. That's another thing about this. Like it there's something about this button, it, it ends up messing up a lot a lot of characters' anti airs as well. Like, I'm sure you've seen me in base play, and he's tried to hit me with crouch hard punch, and that button just beats it out. Mm -hmm. But, like, he can hit this button extremely low to the ground as well. That's another main thing about it. But I just want y'all to hit to the ground real quick. Okay. So, yeah, he can... Oh, my lord. Do you see that? At someone's knees, pretty much. Yeah. Oh, and, my like, god. So, like... I guess. Yeah, and that's another important cross-up button for him, because, like, he can... 
he can cross up off of his light command throw with that button, like he has a setup with it and everything. Uh, I'll go over that in the next match. I luckily guessed that direction of the block of that light kick. I did not know where it was going to hit me. Yeah. Did you even know? <laughs> I know when I'm going. I know when I'm going for certain steps where it'll hit, but like sometimes I just I don't even. I don't even know when it's actually gonna hit. Oh man. But yeah, off of his command throw, you'll see me do this a lot against DP characters. Well, I don't think Jago's a good example because he's a. Jago's die, his usually beats cross ups, but like this, it'll end up crossing up a lot of input characters' inputs. Then, character, then DPs that travel far forward, it can just completely make them whiff. So if you don't know how to cross cut, you're in trouble with that. That's exactly like TJ Combo's jump heavy kick, actually. It crosses yeah. up, and it narrows my hurt box to where it'll make you whiff a DP. Then it next, hits low. Yeah, that's his jump light kick. He can hit it extremely low to the ground. And it's a cross up button, a very ambiguous one at that. His jump hard punch also functions the same way, pretty much. Like, it's, it's basically the grappler splash that also crosses up. Kind of like Hugo. Like, yeah, like it's some uh, it's, he can't cross it up from as far away, but like it's still a pretty good button overall, and it naturally it does more it does more damage than the light one too. So it's up to you which one you want to go for. You want to go for more ambiguity or just want, want the damage while still getting the mix up as well. And I know you can make that a safe jump too, right? And like yeah, kind of like like mm -hmm. against six frame reverses or anything like Rom can safe jump anything that's six frames or more. Actually, give me a little meter real quick. There's kind of something I want to show off of this shadow command throw that Prom has. All right, this should be good. So yeah, as you know, empty jumping it'll beat out DPs and everything. Like if they, if you like have a certain move, if you empty jump, it'll beat out someone trying to wake up DP. Okay, what else should I be doing right now, DP? Yeah. So, oh yeah, like fuck. that. So, that loses to wake up throw. So like, give me more meter again. Blocked. Sorry. Yeah, that's done. That's Rom's not the only character to do that, but here's what makes it especially dangerous on him. All right, so going back to his light jump, light kick. Since he can do this so low to the ground, if you try to wake up throw at the wrong time, he just ends up being for it. The wake up throw. Yeah. Because his jump light kick hits so hits hit so low to the ground, it's hard to tell when he's actually gonna do it. So Ugh. this isn't. Except if I use an instinct more, just because of the damage he'll get, which we'll go over later. But like, that's just a that's just a layer to this character's mix-ups overall. But yeah, those are his air normals pretty much. I like the I like the fact that he has two really good cross-ups that you can choose to like utility-wise, which one you want to prefer. That's really cool. All right, now we'll go over his specials now. I think I'll start. I think I'll start with decimation, which are the stabs. So, first you have Light Decimation. This move is fast and it's his, it is, it's his main opener, but you have to be careful because it's minus nine on block. So yeah, like this is his main opener, but it's also largely unsafe, so it's not something you want to use for pressure. Mm -hmm. Another thing to keep in mind is that his stab is his only combo as well. His stab is what? That's his only combo linker as well. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right guys. We could just talk so, yeah. about that right now. <laughs> Literally, his stab is his only linker, guys. But that's due to nature of the game. That's due to the nature of the character, since he doesn't really play KI. He doesn't play too much of the combo game as other characters. Yeah, you don't really want to be doing long combos of Rom, to be honest, unless you're like they let's say lock out, of course. You're, I think, yeah. uh, correct me if I'm wrong here, but your purpose is to kind of put him in bad situations, like, as much as yeah, possible. Yeah, you want to put him in bad situations, get them panicking a lot, and, like, make them fear to throw so much that they start just, everything starts falling apart for, apart for him. Mm-hmm. Like, Rom has good combo damage, but he doesn't need to combo to do damage. Like, without doing a single combo, he can easily end, end, end character's life bars within 10 seconds. Yeah, there's been situations where I fight a Rom, like Latalus, and I'll be like... Damn, I just got stabbed six times and I'm 80% dead. Yeah. Or I got command grab once, flipped out, and thrown again. Like, I'm half dead yeah. now. Uh, light decimation, that's his main opener since it can confirm off of anything. Next, we have the medium version. This one's more safe because it's minus three. So it's minus three on block instead of minus nine, so it's, it's still pretty safe for him. 
and that's pretty decent range and speed as well. So you'll see Rom trying to use this use this to whiff punish characters who have longer reach and buttons like his, like his Sokka and such. Hmm. What's up, Zodiac? Has, can you give me some gear real quick? Sure. Yep. How you going, so? Since it's minus three. We'll go over so I'm gonna go over his command throws next. We might as well talk about this. Since it's minus three on block, the threat of this is still there. Oh my god. I didn't even see that coming, bro. I have like so one like, frame to get out of that pretty much. Yeah, he still has a command throw that throw threat off of that if he has meter or if he or if he spaces out well enough, he can still do the light version as well. So like try him uh check. I don't need meter right now, but like uh yeah. Just I'm gonna block this. Yeah, he still has, <laughs> just because how he faces out right, he still has to throw a throw to that as well. Real quick, do that stab and don't do anything afterwards? Yeah. I can't throw him or do anything to him. Like, I can't jab him, guys. Like, he yeah, could like, throw that. Throw me after that. Your mic's cutting make... out after, uh, it's just kind of, like, dimmed out. Yeah. Say that again? That button's it's really good for whip punishing because it's a little faster than the heavy version. It's not quite as fast as the light one, but it's still still pretty fast and it has decent range. So characters will have longer range buttons like Hisako. You can catch them trying to throw something, throw something out. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Then that last but not least, we have his heavy stab, heavy decimation. You'll see Ron players throw this out a lot in neutral because it's his longest reaching move overall. And it's only minus one as well, so like Ron can do this from pretty far away and like kill you. You'll see him use that to try and uh, just try and poke people out, trying to catch people walking forward and everything. It's essentially like Geek's green hand, pretty much. That's a good way to put it, yeah. So like he'll catch that from pretty far. It's only minus one on block, so you you're still in a guessing situation after that because he can just take his turn back with his command throw. Then uh, another thing, he actually can't make the move plus it plus off of his hard knockdowns as well. Uh, this thing, hold on, I'm not gonna do that just because it might kill. But yeah, I'm pretty sure his back throw would kill. Oh, damn it, didn't. Okay, but we'll just save it for the next one. Okay, I want to see. Yeah, it. All, all Command throws he can't make this plus like I'm uh hold on. He just wants heavy command throw, so that then stab and he's plus off of that. Like I, I, the most he can get is plus four, I think I think it depends on how late it actually hits, but like the most he can get is like plus four if he beats it, right? Mm-hmm. That felt so meaty, bro. Like yeah. that felt like active as hell. You could tell you were plus. Like I could just feel it, like like, if you want, we can hold up afterwards. Yeah. We have time. Yeah. Yeah, he came down. He landed first. <laughs> and went up here. I know, like, certain normals is harder to get it, but, like, if he hits it very late, he'll be, like, plus four or something. Awesome. That's his only linker, guys, so keep that in mind. Yeah, that's his only linker and also his only opener as well. Ah, yeah, true. It's uh, only yeah, a little special decimation. move opener, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's Decimation. Next, we'll go over his, um, uh, since this chain, this this move ties into his command throw so well that I kind of, that I want to go over it first. His Emergence and then, like, his Krill Rush. These are the moves that apply his Poison Mechanic, which are called, called the, um, uh, Krill. First, we have Heavy. This is um, a completely strike invincible, so it can be used as a reversal for Rom. Like, try, like I'm gonna throw me, then like try to meet me with a, with a strike. Gotcha. Yeah, so it's completely strike invulnerable. But one thing you have to keep in mind is that like I'm a, it is pretty slow. So like, if somebody meets you with a light button, then they can like beat it, and it still be, and it still loses the throws. Let me try doing a, a light bait. Let's see. Yeah, so like it's. Oh, because it's 16 frames, so like it is slow, but it's still can be useful because it applies the crew mechanic and it still can be used as a used as an interruption as well. That's awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's his heavy emergence, and it also causes a hard knockdown as well. So like, I'm going to stomp and he gets Hokey off of it. Or flip out. Yeah, basically anything you want. So it can be used as a if you have a if you do it if you do it early enough, it can be used as an anti air. But for anti airs, you mainly want to use the medium version here. And if I get hit by that poison, by the way, guys. So if I jump, it's upper body invincible. 
and has a huge heart box. Yeah, it's upper body invincible, and the character's 10 feet tall, so it's gonna hit from hit, catch just about anything. Hey, Sally. Hey, Stacy. But yeah, that's his main anti here, and like we showed earlier, it can chain into his, it can chain off of his crouch heart punch as well. Oh, one thing to mention also, guys, is if, if poison me real quick, just poison me. Yep. If I if I get if I get poison, I could just hit him and he'll go away. Yeah, it lasts 15 seconds otherwise. Yeah. But yeah, like his medium emergence is, is an anti here, and naturally, like we showed earlier, you can chain it off his little crouch heart punch. Mm-hmm. And now look at my health decay over time. Actual damage. Oh, one thing. Let's bring me down to like super low health without killing me. So yeah. like, like, bring me down. It won't kill me, guys. Like, the poison yeah. won't kill you. Like, like I want to try to see if we can get to that point. Maybe it'll stay there. See, yeah, I won't see. die from it, like at all. But like, the, the scary thing about poison, it amplifies the damage that. It amplifies Rom's damage on everything. His openers will hurt more, his command throws will hurt more, just everything will hurt more. Alright, so here's an opener without the crew. 10%. And here it is with the crew. <laughs> 12. And imagine getting command throws. I mean, do a raw command throw without it, and then yeah. do one with it. So that's his heavy, it does 19% by itself. Now with the crew on. I'm still taking damage while he's doing that whole thing. 23. If, it, if your health weren't low, it'd be 24, like, which is, again, like a level 2 combo for most characters. But yeah, we still gotta go over Light and Shadow. Yeah, insane. Whew, that's insane. People slept on this character for too long, bro. <laughs> I think. Well, except for you. <laughs> yeah. We can talk matchups and everything later, but yeah. Cool. All right. So we got we went over his stab and his uh poison. So yeah, let's you're still that. Kind of that. Like it's his light emergence. This honestly isn't very useful. Like it's supposed to be low and vulnerable, but the low and vulnerability doesn't start till frame three, so he can't use it like the other ones. One good thing about it though is it does like catch teleport, so you can use it against characters like I'm a spinal or I'm a or spinal or bulbor. It helps a lot. Even Shago, I just dashed behind him and it hit him. It does hit behind him, so it's useful for that. Like, if you have a read on someone trying to teleport. And then, naturally, give me meter. Okay. Last one we got over is a shadow version. Alright, so this is a shadow version. This is the only version of, of emergence that applies actual damage. Like, the heavy one, it is striking vulnerable, too. But, like, this is the only one that does actual damage. And you know what's crazy about this move, guys? Um... Like, just to say, if I was TJ Combo, and, I don't know, he flipped me out, and I went for Shadow DP after the flip out to try to hit, like, catch his, uh, yeah. pressure, that Shadow Emergence beats out, like, I think 90% of the DPs. Shago, actually, it'll work on him, too, or, or it should, like, his Alright, let's see, do it. No, flip me out, like, knock me down, and then flip me out. Okay. So, yeah, so fucked up. Him. Like, even if he did the shadow work, he'll still, like, beat it out, usually. Uh, it's, that, but, yeah. it just beats a lot of DPs. It's just something about it has a lot of priority. It's because it's Krill. I, I don't know what the deal is, to be honest. It's hard to punish. You need to be, like, on point with that. Fully strike and vulnerable, so, like... But yeah, those are each versions of immersion, Emergence. Both Light and Shadow are, are striking vulnerable, and they hit all around him as well, so... These particular moves also make make it very hard to run a board on Rom consistently, because they hit all around him. Mm -hmm. I can't even cross him up if I wanted to. Yeah. Look, if I teleport, I'm going to go teleport behind you. In a minute. I'm, I'm going to do jab, jab, and do it. It just doesn't work. Yeah. Oop, it's hard to but, get up there, but yeah. It crossed up, but like, other than that, like, it makes it very difficult to run a four, so Vortex on ROM for long, just because, like, these moves are such good at, just so good at interrupting things. Mm hmm But yeah. Oh, we've got to about that, Shadow Stab, actually. What's up? Did we talk about Shadow Stab? Oh, yeah, Shadow Stab, uh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it's a five, it's a typical five-hitting linker, but... 
Rom does have some pretty scary things he can get off of it. I don't think I don't know if I'll have enough time to do it do it now, but like yeah. Okay. But what I'm about to show it these two bars. So you want to build the meter right away? Yeah, this is something he could. This is something he. At Coach Steve actually found this a long time ago when he was playing the game. Oh, shout out to Coach Steve, a ROM player. Yeah. But like, this is a pretty devastating thing he can do with Shadow Stab. Like, I might not get the first time just because the execution can be a little tricky, but. But yeah, I'll need two bars for this. Make me block. Okay. You build your meter that way better, right? Or am I yeah. mistaken? Alright, I might not get the first try because I'm gonna be a little trickier to do online. Alright. Okay. Ah, shit. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. Uh, yeah, he can combo into it. He can, like, Krill cancel and combo into that. He can do forward dash and do back hard punch, and he can do. Well, he can do back dash and I'm gonna stand hard punch, or he can do forward dash and I'm gonna. Wait, let's see. Yeah, just let you block me in. Like, the forward dash one is a little easier, so I think I'll try that, but. Oops. I hate when you're on a spot. And you, I, I know how you feel, bro. When you're on a spot to do something, it's just like impossible to do it. You do it every other time in a com in a combat situation. They're like, here, let me show you how this works. Never get it. <laughs> Interesting. So yeah, that's just sometimes it's for instinct, just because the damage he'll get off of it will be really good, or if I know they're gonna die. Hmm. So it's a good round closer, and that's really if you have to, if you uh, if you do manage to pull the back dash version off, it does more damage. You can link stand hard punch with that one. You can eat shadow counter anytime. Go ahead and raw shadow shadow it. Oh, you mean um, a shadow stab? Yeah, most characters can shadow counter at any time. Like it's pretty slow, so you mainly want to use it. You mainly want to use it for confirms, and like most cases, even like I'm um, uh, canceling most in most cases, even canceling it won't save them. Mm -hmm. Safe for char safer characters who have sl slower shadow characters like I'm a Kim Wu or Maya and such. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Makes sense. Yep. Okay. So what else we got? Now we have Krill Rush, which is like I'm a his sort of like his running bear grab. This isn't a move I use a lot. I I mainly save it for certain matchups. Like me being zoned out, pretty much. Not even that, cause like. The only, the only good version, that, the only version that's good from a, uh, that's good for anti-zoning is the shadow version, because it's it's faster than a uh, trap farther. But the other versions, they're mainly used for catch, catching back dashes or certain moves on certain characters. Like you know how Spinal, he can use his instant air die kick to try and beat command throws. Mm -hmm. His Spinal tries to catch the number the Krill Rush will catch him. Like if you have a read on that. Between the normal versions, there isn't much difference on them between outside how far. I'll see how far they go, pretty much. It has armor, too. Had, yeah, just like his Krill Shield, they do have the unique armor on them as well. So, like, they'll beat any singular strike in the absorb projectiles indefinitely. But other than that, there's not much difference between the three versions. I'll see how far they travel. Like, naturally, light travels the shortest. Medium is sort of in the same in between. And, like, heavy travels the farthest, naturally. Mm -hmm. They have the they have the hit of armor. They, they absorb projectiles and they poison you. Yeah, but the thing about him is like the the armor wears off as Rom's about to grab you. So like it's uh, it's going to counterplay too. You kind of have to do this move on a read more or less. I see. So you won't see a lot of Rom players losing a lot. Gotcha, gotcha. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah, that makes sense, Bass Free. True, true, true. Yeah, it starts off, yeah, just because how long they last and being invincible all the way, that's why they beat other specials. Mm -hmm. I'm glad Bass Free's, Bass, Bass Free's back. We need the Lab Rat back. <laughs> true that. There's no Lab Monster. Alright, but last but not least, we have his Command Throws, which are called Dominance. So the one you'll see, see characters use a lot is the Light version, just because how far it reaches. It's so instant. It's like disgusting. How yeah, fast like it, is it? Their four frame, their four frame command throws. Each command throw is four frames, except except for the shadow version, which is the fastest move in the game at one frame. But since the moves are so fast, 
actually should have you switch to Jago for this one because he's the perfect example for it. But his command throws are so fast they can be a, they can be used to ignore certain characters' plus frames. I'm not sure. If, I'm not sure if I can really do something with Jago like that. But... You mean like medium kicks plus two, right? Yeah, but I don't think. Yeah, I think his might be too fast. Oh, you know, it'd be a good example like TJ's power line. He's, it's very hard to punish yeah. that. Uh, Jago's for a roundhouse, even though it's plus two, since Rom's command throw is so fast that he doesn't have to respect it. Like, if right. Jago tries to follow with a button outside, he has to do a frame perfect jab to keep himself from getting punished. Okay, okay. Yeah, Jago actually be. I'll just kill you real quick because Jago would be a better example for this one. Killing. End of bar. But uh, I was going to say, like, I don't. I was going to ask you this, but I guess it's a little too early to ask, but I was going to say, um,. I don't really see medium command grab a lot. Is that is that true? Is that something that's not really used? Or I'll go into that for a little more reasons. Like there's there's definitely applications for medium as well. Like I use it more than other ROM players do. Okay. Yeah, I'll go after that after I go everything about light. Ow. Do you want me to pick Jago? Yeah, just go ahead and switch to Jago real quick. Okay. Just because his four roundhouse is like, it's like the easiest example to show off of this. Gotcha. To my Minga Jago. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask any. If not, that's fine too. Yeah, go ahead. I got the chat open so I can see everything. Got it. Will this be saved? Yes, it will. It will be on YouTube tonight. I thought the heavy grab was slower because it was more range. I think the heavy grab is slower oh, for the simple fact yeah, that... Sorry, right, what? They're all the same speed, Basri. They just have different range reaches, that's all. They're all the same speed. Oh, really? It's not slower? Yeah. It just does more damage. Yeah, he gets different applications for him. Like, he'll get different pressure situations for him. Okay, so you want me to do a forward roundhouse, huh? So, yeah, do forward roundhouse, then, like, try to press a button after. Like, the only way Jago beats is if he does, like, a frame perfect jab. That if sucks. He tries to press any other button, just, if he tries to press any other button, he just loses. I literally just tried a mass jab there. Yeah, like, he has to do a frame perfect in order to keep himself from getting punished. And I'm just a human being. So yeah, but yeah, that's what makes like that's what makes his command throw so powerful that they can just kind of be used to disrespect characters plus range. But anyway, I'm gonna go over some of the set play he gets off a of light throw in particular. Okay. All right, try to DP on wake up off of this. And I got stuffed. Wait. But yeah, it doesn't even stuff it. It just makes the in it just like crosses up the input pretty much. Oh okay. So you like have to like know how to cross cut effectively to try and beat it out like that. But that's just something you'll see ROM players go for a lot, just to try and beat out characters with three frame reversals, pretty much. And like characters who have like slower reversals, like Saber Wolf or TJ, he can actually just use setups like that to just safe jump them all together. Hmm. But yeah, that's his light command throw. It gives him a lot of. It gives him. It has the most range. Like, I think this is like the max. This is like the max range right there. So it has the most range. It'll catch. It'll check characters trying to like him after a combo break or so. It'll catch check characters trying to throw out a normal or something like that. Jeez, bro. He gets unique pressure off. He gets. So you could grab a limb, essentially. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Get the <laughs> fuck out of here, bro. I didn't know that. He gets good pressure options off of it as well, like you know what I showed earlier. So like. Then, like oh. Or like stand hard kick. I'm gonna try backdashing after that real quick. If you try to backdash the stand medium kick, it'll typically catch it. Oops. It, it lags like right there. <laughs> uh. That catches backdashes and like I'm a, you know, if they try to they try to wake up with something like wake up throw or something like that, and you can like I'm gonna do stand light kick with a counter or whatever. Just things like that. So, like, that's why you'll see the light command throw is the one that ROM players will use the most just because he gets so much, so much utility off of it. Interesting. 
but yeah, next I'll go over to medium command throw and, and the application he does have for it. Hmm. Nice. I didn't know that with the I didn't know all that with the um you know what I'm saying? Crazy. Yeah. But yeah, we'll go over his medium dominance now. Yeah, this is like the one I rarely force. see. It has it still has pretty good range on it. Not quite as much as the light, but it still reaches pretty far. It still does pretty good damage as well. And another thing is if you want to don't block this, I'm going to go into a combo, don't break it or anything. It's more for re reset potential. Like, there's certain ranges where, like, the medium... If you do a certain auto-double, like, then, then the medium command throw will reach for a reset. Mm -hmm. Like, go like that. What the fuck? So, those are, those are like... It's, there's certain reset reset situations you want to keep your, keep an eye out for. That's what medium dominance is more used for, and it does have a little more range than the light one. So if you want a better punish, you can still use medium throw as well in case heavy won't reach. Mm hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Then like the same setups he gets off of heavy, he also gets off of medium. So like the heavy stab setup, I, setup setup I showed you earlier, he get he do it off of medium as well. So you're gonna die off of that now, but like, yeah, he gets the same application stuff off of heavy that he does with medium as well. So like, you can interchange the two as need as need be. I see. Ugh. But yeah, that's medium command throw. There's still uses for you, even if it's not as used as much as the other the other three are. Can it stop the pressure too, like the, you were doing earlier? You should be able to, like, if you're close enough. Yep. yep. insane okay last last we'll have heavy command throw which is which is the it has the least range but it does the most damage so he has to be he has to be on them for this one but like there's a good reason for that because it does 19 percent by itself huh well you know, scaling right there it keeps it keeps it off but like and then naturally if he's in the corner like i showed earlier he can do that that's insane damage insane unbreakable damage off. I'm gonna go up more of that as well. I'm gonna show what the what the crew does to all of his command throws. All right, so just go to the corner and the jump, just because I want to show like crew does off with crew with crew added dagger until I'm a command throw. So yeah, this is essentially a level three right here. Well. Oh. That's fucked up. So that's kind of why Rom, he doesn't need to play the combo game much just because his raw command throws, they do so much. It's like if you have Krill on you eat two heavy command throws, that's pretty much 50% right there. Flip me out, now I gotta guess, you know what I'm saying? That, did, that was another one, he would have been near dead right there. That's fucked up. Last but not least, we have Shadow. Big Papa. Uh, yeah. Meter. Oh my bad. I didn't even know you wanted. I'll block right yeah, now. I'm just about to, go, about to be build meter real quick. All right. So yeah, we have Shadow Dominus, which is the single fastest move in the game. This is a one frame throw. So if you aren't holding up, you're gonna get hit by it. If you aren't holding up or inputting something beforehand, you're gonna get hit. So like after knockdown, you'll often see me do this, like just because it catches a lot of people off guard, and then you'll see me dash up and then just do that right again. AKA the frame trap nullifier? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like this move is so fast that it'll just, if you're near ROM, the threat of getting hit with just almost there. Almost always there. It does slightly less than the heavy than the heavy throw does actually, but that's just because it's so fast and he gets like, much like I'm a, his, like command throw, he gets better pressure off options off of it as well. The best of both worlds, pretty much. Yeah, like it maybe does one percent less than the heavy command throw, so like the trade off is fine. Yeah, but you still get that setup. Like with the three frame setup that showed you everything earlier, like when he empty jumps and like has to jump like kicking everything, he just mm -hmm. gets a lot off of all his command throws in general. It could punish things that are not normally punishable either, like um. Maybe like like my white like, like my wind kicks right like light wind kick. Any yeah any wind kick is a any block wind kick is a punish for Rom pretty much. He doesn't even need shadow for it. Like if the move is minus two or below if the move is 
even minus one and Rom could punish it with Shadow Throw. So like actually I'm gonna give you meter so you can do shadow when kick them. You have to let both of us have meter. Okay. Alright, I'll do it now. So yeah, you, go ahead and do shadow. Do yep, so we can punish that. That is so fucked up, bro. Okay, now here's another important application about his command traps I want to show. Go ahead and do Shadow Wind Kick again. Okay. Fuck! <laughs> yeah, he can snatch characters up out of Shadow Moves. If your Shadow Move isn't throwing vulnerable, he can just snatch you out of it from pretty far away. That's fucked up. Yeah, that's another important thing about his command throws. Like, if you have the reactions, just don't let people get away with doing raw shadows. Just recognize if the move is throwing vulnerable or not, and just yank them right out of it. <laughs> That's kind of humiliating, too. That's just one of the main things that made this fight kind of suck for Jago, but we'll go over that later. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna build more meter real quick. Yeah, he gets cross upset us off of his Shadow Command throw as well, like, sort of like how he would with Light. Like, they're a little harder to do, because, like, you have to sort of micro off a bit and everything else can be a little trickier, but, like... Oh, shit. Pretty ambiguous stuff like you would. That's a safe jump. So what are you going to do? Wait, wait. And added up your input. Yeah, it's fucked it up. I was doing a little, I was doing a group jump hard punch a little too low so it didn't hit, but like you still, it's still the same general idea. Mm -hmm. But yeah, That's those nice. are his command, those are his command throws and all his specials in general. Actually, I'll actually go over some of his combo potential next, but you're just gonna like finish it here just so I can get a good example of it. Okay. Like the thing about Rom is outside of his raw command throws, especially in the corner, he just gets so much off of just one chance combos. <laughs> Especially when you have the Krill apply. So, just gonna push you to the corner real quick. And then build some meter just so I can... Actually, I don't even need meter for this. Just don't block this so I can put the Krill on. And I'm just gonna show you what a, what a one chance like him will, can look like. Oh my fucking god, bro. So, uh, for, so if he has Krill, he has Krill on you, play your card, right? So you can just do a 41% level 1. Dude, you could get, like, if you have a bar, go get a bar and do that whole thing with the shadow opener instead. Yeah. Let me get my, let me get the poison off me. Oh, yeah, you're gonna kill me, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> That's fucked up. Yeah. Oh, my bad. I get it. Get the Krill on. And then... Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't know what you wanted me to do. Uh, just put the curl on again so it can reset and then, yeah, just to show off the damage. Eh, 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 eh. One chance into command throw. Uh, hello? <laughs> oh. Why? It's at 50% one chance. So, yeah, and then, like, if you want to add a couple more hits in, you can, like, just do a level 2 for 50 or so. So like, even if you don't get the stand hard kick punch, the, the damage will still be really good. Like he just gets so much off of raw one, just off of raw throws and one chances that he doesn't have to play a long combo game at all. Wow. So he just has great buttons, great specials, and great anti airs and utilities. Yeah. Hmm. So like he's just a, essentially a very, very powerful grappler. Hmm. Now what else do we have to go over? This is auto doubles. Uh, his well, yeah, his instinct. Well, yeah, his auto doubles and his instinct. I do want to show off that counter break combo I talked about earlier as well, though. So, like, okay. I'll build two bars. Let me know. Tell me what to do, and I'll do it. Yeah, when I do the, I'm gonna put some krill on, and I'm gonna do a heavy command throw, and I'm gonna do a stomp. Try and count. Try and break the stomp. Break the stomp. Got it. Yeah, uh, stand medium punch. So, so right now, huh? Once I do the, after, when I stomp, try and break it. Oops, counter break didn't come out. 
I'll do the next bar just, cause, just to show off how much this really hurts. Okay. So yeah, this is just like if you do decide to play that camp game with him, he can still be very effective with it. Alright, so put the crew on. And throw, and then... Why? So, like, if you do want to play that game with him, he can still be effective with it. So don't ignore it altogether, because Rom still is still one of the highest damaging characters in the game altogether. Oh my fucking god, bro! Yeah. Eighty-four percent off a counter breaker. That's the only thing people want to break too. It's like not even like it's not even crazy to try to try to want to break that. It's like something that you could just yeah. do. You know, like it's not it's not weird. You know what I mean? That's his highest damaging counter break combo outside of actually, which he can straight up do 99% combos off. Outside that, of Krill, you said? Outside of, yeah, just outside of his instinct in general. And like, yeah. even without the Krill, the damage is still pretty good. But, mm -hmm. so like, I'll do it again. Like, I'll build, build two bars again and just do it. Like, even without the Krill, it still hurts a lot. The Krill just adds on that much more. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Fuck. So yeah. so yeah, it still does a lot of damage even without it, even without the krill added. Like the krill, that's just to show how much the krill actually adds to his damage overall. And you can flip out still after that stuff, right? Yeah, you can flip out after that. So just. Do that, do one more 80% damage and it's a mix. Yeah. Jesus. So like that's what makes this character such a terror overall, just cause like once he's in in a lot of cases it's not that hard for him to get in. Like not as hard for people, not as hard as people would think. And you know what sucks about that whole situation? That makes me scared to counter or combo break that stomp. Yeah. Cause now you get like, I'm gonna you, be afraid of it. Like even if you don't do, even if you don't have meter, it still hurts a lot. Like, mm -hmm. oh shit, it didn't even break in time. Weird. Yeah, sometimes it does that, but like, even if you don't have meter, that's still like fifty-five or sixty percent or something like that. We don't really need, to, really need to show it. What's up, Oreo? Just teaching you guys how to play ROM or what ROM's all about. No big deal. All right, cool. So his instinct this will be next. Uh. It's probably better if we start the round for that. Just yeah, to kill me. Show what it's really done. Yeah. Just to show what it can really do. Oh, oh. It's a cool skin, by the way. It looks tight. The white and like neon blue. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna I'm gonna build your instinct. Yep. Uh, just uh, have... just break my combo. Just keep breaking. My... Oh. Okay. All right. So General Rom's instinct, what it does is it makes the whole screen black, which makes everything harder to see, and it constantly adds potential damage. Like potential damage is always adding on, no matter what, no matter what you're doing. Even if you're hitting him, it is still it still builds a little. It builds a little slower, but even if you hit him, it's like still gonna build. On top so of whatever damage you're taking. Yeah. So yeah, plus Rom gets crazy one chance cash outs, like even with no meter right there. All right, when you do it again, just do life this time, so I can uh, have more life. Oops. Oops. Good enough. But since we have two bars, it's best to show what this can really do. Like, I'm just gonna put him in the just put him in the corner real quick. Gotcha. What, you gonna want me to do a counter breaker or what do you want me to do? Nah, we don't even need a counter breaker to show it off really. Okay. Oh in the corner, my bad. So add the crew and then
Am I dead? And then stop it's me. Just about. Like if I did, I actually messed up the combo a little because I did a heavy linker, but he actually can literally 99% combo people with it with instinct, even without a combo breaker. Uh, without it's a fucked combo up. Breaker, I mean, yeah. <laughs> like I've done that before. There was a whole Twitter clip, Twitter clip I had of it where it just kind of blew up. Let me uh, let me go for a, let me let me let's do that all again, but this time I want to lock out. I like, can see what a lockout yeah. combo looks like in that instinct. Wait, oh, don't block? Yeah. So you just want me to instant counter break or? No, like a lockout. So I'm gonna just like lock out on heavy or like lock, lock out on lights. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna break lights. Okay. Optimal. This is like his lockout damage, guys. Just if you, if you guess wrong once. Oh. <laughs> that was only for one bar. I imagine if he had two or anything. Oh my god. Let's build two real quick. Yeah. I'll build two. Let him, uh, I'll build a two bar I, real quick. And then I, I want to have full health, so don't don't make me block. I'll, I'll make you block. Okay. Yeah, I want to have full health. I'm going to give you instinct as well. So go ahead and unblock. It'll be able to build by then. I'll kill you. Yeah. But uh, so I'm gonna lock out on the lights. I'm gonna guess heavy. So I'm gonna guess lights. I mean, I'm gonna guess lights. So. Fuck me, dude. Yeah, so 79. <laughs> One lockout. <laughs> One lockout. And I can't see what he's doing because he's bl covered in the black krill. Like the krill just like blinding his animation. One lockout. One application that one thing that has is that like people get so afraid of the combo damage that they just end up taking so many command throws over and over. Yep. And one thing too to mention, we forgot to mention, is that during instinct, like say he pops it like at the end of my life bar, between rounds, like when it's like ready, fight, I'm still getting potential damage built up. It's still building up building as long as you have a life bar as long as the instinct is active i guess the like, last thing to show have, sorry go ahead if you have real while you're in instinct it adds to the damage like it normally would would as well mm -hmm. yep i'm still getting potential damage and everything i was gonna say um what gets the last thing to show them now is this ultra all right oh uh, yeah well i do want to show the counter break combos as well too like, okay because... oh yeah yeah so what you want me to do uh, I'll build two bars first, and then like, or you want to build me here again, and, like give me instinct or whatever. Okay. Here comes a counter break combo. Yeah. You guys aren't ready. Y'all ain't ready for this one. Yeah. But that's just, this is essentially what it does. It's like. All right, you could you could stop blocking. Describe this the best. Like Rom's instinct kind of functions as the his high health that grapplers tend to have. Like you know, if you no matter how much if the grappler has a pixel left, they always have a chance to come back. That's basically. So what do you want me to break? Of, uh, just try a break immediately. Actually, I'm gonna put some grill on first just to really emphasize this. Okay. Oh. That's nice. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Even. It's off of a, it's off of a breaker opener. I mean, opener counter break. Oh my fucking god, bro! Ninety percent. Man, my voice crack. And that's just off <laughs> opener counter break. Like, imagine if you get counter broken on heavies or something or in the middle of a match. Yeah, like I could get like counter broken after like a command throw into stomp or something. Alright, well, yeah, I just want to show off his altar then. Yeah, and then we could do some matches if you want. Yeah, sure. Like a first Talk to five it. or something. Yeah, who he fights, who he fights well or whatever. I kind of wanted to show uh, TJ versus Rom. It's, like, it's considered a bad matchup for TJ, but I yeah. think it's fun. I don't know why. I think that's like one of the most fun fights for my character. Jesus.
He's beating the shit out of you with his knife. Yeah, that's just what his instinct does. It makes his mix-up even more ambiguous just because you can't see him, and it just gives him the most ridiculous damage in the game. Oh my god. His knife, yeah. Just stabbing your belly. Bam, 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 bam. General Rom is a badass character, bro. Like, he is so yeah. sick. He's like one of the best guest characters I've ever seen. Like, I was actually, I barely played any Gears of War games, so when I heard, when I, I heard before that he was going to be in the game, like, well before he was actually announced, but mm -hmm. when I heard about him, I wasn't really interested in him, but then I showed, until they showed they made him a grappler. I had no idea he was coming, and when they showed him, I didn't know what to expect, to be honest. Yeah, I thought he was going to be another zoner type character, maybe just because, like, you know, shooter games or whatever, but... Mm -hmm. I thought he was going to have, like a, like, a Lancer or something, too, like a chainsaw. Yeah. I'm kind of glad they didn't give him that, because it's not really his weapon. He doesn't use a gun, he uses... Well, he uses a gun, actually, doesn't he? I don't know. I, I don't play that game. I don't know. He uses it in the final boss fight, I think, but I've never really played Gears of War. Yeah. Alright, wish me luck, guys. Oh. I'm dumb. Now I'm gonna pay the price. I'm dead! Oh shit! No! <laughs> so scary. Uh oh. I can't see him. I have to just kind of guess what he's doing. That's kind of one other thing I forgot to mention while he's an instinct. Like, when he's an instinct, he can actually move forward with his crew shield. Oh, yeah, when he does his focus attack, he could, he could slide like Hakan. Beautiful. That was actually really good. Oh, so smart. They're going to go for the catch, the back dash or something, you know? Going for it. Ah! No! The reset! <laughs> ah! Stop! Stop it! Somebody save me! I can't hit him! Go away! <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> it's trying to scare the shit out of me, bro. It's like a real monster, you know what I mean? Like a real motherfucking monster. Like, yeah, like, well, fuck off, bro. Uh oh. It's too early. Now, TJ does a lot of damage to you guys. Oh, I'm for a throw. I thought you were gonna krill. You little smart little fuck. Oh, shit, you baited me. I thought you were gonna go for the cross up. Oh, well, I have instinct to battle the rest, but I'm still gonna get PD. Oh, never mind. Oh my god. <laughs> um. So, yeah, thanks for like watching TJ the stream, guys. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> TJ can play the neutral okay just because of power line, but once Rom gets past that, it's that's why it's considered bad because he can't match his buttons at all. <laughs> yeah, I can't really contest him in the neutral with buttons or up close. I have to be careful for the command grab. So I have to play him at a, like a, a kind of tricky range. TV, TJ's buttons are a little stubby. So I have to play him at a range where I'm still kind of like plus because it's target combo juke, but also yeah. like not close enough to where I can get grabbed. It's really scary. Uh oh, belly. What the? Stubby, like I said. Oh, for, I went for a uh, shout counter, it didn't come out. Maybe I didn't have the meter. Uh oh. I'm like. Fighting this guy, like, extreme care. 
I feel like I'm doing surgery. <laughs> like, like I'm trying to thread the needle, you know what I mean? Ooh. Oh, a little fucking bitch! <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh no, I didn't raise him, dead! Oh yeah, by the way, we got to mention also, when he pops instinct and does the command grab, it's instant. It's zero, man. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you're gonna get caught. Come here! Uh oh. Ow. Nice. I don't know what was gonna happen there. Oh, he didn't do anything. He just—I was gonna block, and he waited. I'm gonna get the free damage. I shouldn't have done it. I have instinct. Oh, fuck. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, guys, nice knowing you. I'm fucking actually dead. Uh, uh, uh. I'm doing it, bro. I don't give a shit. Oh, what the fuck? Ugh. That was scary. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> you like it's Soul Calibur 2? My heart's still pounding. <laughs> Yo, this game's tight, bro. I love this matchup. It's so fun for TJ, in my opinion. Holy shit! Uh oh. Nice frame trap! It's hella fun. Then again, I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a, like a weirdo. I like giving myself a hard time. I'm gonna take this damage while I can. Uh oh. Uh oh. Fuck that button's so good. I can't even go over it with tremor. I'm doing this. No, he <laughs> can't punish this so easily. Wow, so easily. Oh, leave me alone, goddammit. Oh, by the way, I can't hit his knife either. So, like, if he does his knife. I might wake up at max range. I can't uppercut him. He ill whiff. I'm dead. Oh no, you didn't have shadow. What's up, Lockhart? Oh. Eh. Fuck. Oh. oh, yes, I'm a god. I'm a god because you fucked up. What the? I'm taking his meter. <sighs> yeah, exactly, your Oreo. Bitch, he knows me. Yeah. Stop being my friend, asshole. Stop knowing me. <laughs> I wonder if you could do something about this. Probably not. I'm going for the big damage. I don't care. Out of here. We're both dead in one hit, you know that, right? Yep. Uh, be scared! <gasps> uh, uh, uh. No! No fucking <laughs> bastard, this motherfucker, bro! Dirt alien, I call him a dirt alien! Like a taco player, I'll actually talk about that matchup in the later, but yeah. There's some, some games to Taco has to know when fighting ROM. Mm hmm. Fighting ROM is hella fucking scary. Like, 
bro. Ow, ow. 40%. More than that now. Oh, I broke the combo. I'm dead! Yep. <laughs> The knee swing and your switches sides. It does the most damage outside of auto barrage, but it does not switch sides in the corner. No. It... Ow. By the way, guys, the score is not 127. It's 1 2. Okay? So don't judge me. We were training, or we were showing off the character. Eh, 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 eh. Toasty. Mm -hmm. Free damage. <laughs> Definitely 127. <laughs> I'm not really sure about this caring about the score, to be honest. I just want to make sure we play a certain number of games to where we get a, yeah. a you know, good, uh, yeah, how he looks like in a combat, yeah. Glotalis can sweep me any day, but I could I could beat his ass too. <laughs> it's one of my rivals. Ow! That's anti we were talking about in the breakdown. You guys saw it. Oh, here's the damage we were talking about too. Yeah, make that two twenty-seven. That's right, dagger, motherfucker. Oh, you're smart. You're smart. Jesus! Oh my god, I don't know what to do. It's so scary. No more. Oh, wait. I'll take that free 21. I didn't do that. I canceled it, you little bitch. Oh, yeah, he's not dead. I'll kill him. <laughs> Always kill. Waste the bar, guys. That's one strat. That's advice we could both uh, probably suggest. Use the meter. Use the force. <laughs> oh no! Fuck! I'm dead. <clears throat> yep. Just enough. Just enough. Ow! Ow! I tried to fake it until I made it. Smart little fucker. I'm not anti air! Uh oh. I had to. He had to risk it. Yeah. After we get through some games, guys, I kind of miss playing against a Talos, so I'm gonna play for him for a little bit. Uh, if, if that's cool, feel Talos. Yeah. Uh, after we get through a couple of random amounts of games, uh, we're gonna go over the the the, uh, the matchups on the character select screen on, in training mode. Yeah, sure. If you don't mind, I, I don't want to put you on the spot. I know you're probably you worked all day, so. Eh, I only, only worked a few hours. The Talos is a working man. Oh, really? That's good. Yeah. I worked a, like a nine hour shift today. Better than 12. Which I'm used to. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. He baited me. Yeah, dream where you beat us both. That must have been a hell of a dream, bro. I'm just kidding. <laughs> must have been a fever dream. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, bro. I don't think I'm unbeatable. I know I'm not unbeatable for one. Not just against good players like my friend here. Uh, anyone could beat me. Anyone could be anyone. It's possible. Just gotta put in the work and not, you know, don't give up.
And don't let anyone discourage you either. No matter how bad you do. Or whatever. If you do something that works that they don't like, <laughs> keep doing it. Trust me. You'll be a lot happier. Whoa! Is that original Dubs? What's up, Dubs? Hey, man. How you, man? Me and Latos are here. We just break, broke down ROM. Did a great breakdown. I was just doing some matches, playing some gaming. And then we're going to talk about the matchups. I went for it. Got to risk it for the biscuits sometimes. Jeez, I thought I was like, this is perfect range. Oh, fuck me, bro. Okay. Get down the wrong throw. Shadow would have beaten it. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, can't you Shadow Command grab me on reaction? Maybe if, like, it depends on the range, right? Shadow will usually beat at any range just because it's fast. Like, if it was, if it was further away, I could have just did light. Finishing up challenges in K uh, Apex, that's cool. K Apex is a sick game, bro. I like Apex. I haven't played it in a long time, but I can appreciate it. I like, I like to watch Seagull. You never been into it? I only liked it when I was playing with my friends. That's it. I don't like playing games like that alone. I just, I don't know. Half the fun to me is like g ganging up people with your friends. Nope, there goes like 38%. Nope, I'm, I'm exaggerating, of course, but I'm dead. I'm still getting eaten alive by bugs. Yep. <laughs> yeah, exactly, bro. I'm going for it. these kills i need the meter so i'm going for a risk it yeah okay what's up monsoon dr stabbington indeed oh no i'm an idiot ow oh my balls that was a sick little meaty empty jump yeah something you can do off his heavy oh you didn't even want to go for the risk of the button you just went for the command grab Oh, well, rip, Ripperoni. Eh, eh. I'm still alive, guys. I'm alive. Somehow, I'm still alive. I risked it. I was gonna say like some like Resident Evil 3 shit, Latalis. September 38th, September 21st, daylight! <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, I'm still alive. <laughs> Remember she says that in the beginning of the game? <laughs> daylight! <laughs> oh shit. Back up. Well, the light guess, I had to guess that. We learned about that today. Oh, you fucker. I thought you were going to go for Krill again. That's so scary. Why does he have that? Mommy. What? It's doors. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Rom is actually has a pretty good back dash, cause all things considered. Yeah. Eighteen hours? Why? Are you a little patient fuck. Oh, here comes the one chance we were talking about. Oh my. I'm doing it. No fear. Give me that fucker! What came through, buddy? Uh, I, I can't tell what came through. Whoa! Yeah, it came through. Jesus. Uh, thank you so much, Wingale, for the $50 donation. I appreciate that. It was not necessary, but, um... 
you're a grown man and you decided to do it. Oh my god, no way, bro. This is gonna hurt like so much. I'm dead. Okay, we're still alive, gamers. Watch this, guys. You guys don't believe in comebacks? You're gonna believe in them now. Fuck! Alright, y'all, you're gonna believe in them. What's gonna win? Okay. Okay, this game sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Give Rom Happy. a nemesis skin. That'd actually be pretty sick. You know he's actually gone. <laughs> and he's Yo, his message from the donation was Happy Valentine's Day, baby. Buy yourself something nice from daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, relax. Relax, bro. Can you stab his tentacle? What? You talk about giving Rom a nemesis skin. Oh, that'd be hot. Has heavy punch be the tentacle instead? Instead of a stab? Yeah. You broke that? You are a genius. And a and a god. Oh my god, you are You're never gonna get hit by that. Yes you will, I'm gonna keep doing it until it works, bitch! Get out of my face. Oh no! Give me that. Should be able to recover in time. Oh, well, I love my life bar. It's gone now. You gotta say goodbye to things you love sometimes. <laughs> His character is fucked up, bro. I love him. He's so sick. I might learn him one day, bro. I'm learning Tusk, actually. You know that, right? Oh, that's cool. I think Tusk would be a good character for me. I've been playing a lot. I played like 50 games the other day on on uh, my last stream. It was awesome. Maybe you can help me out one day. I'd love to learn from you. Yeah, okay, sure. I think we did the Tusk breakdown already, right? We did the Tusk. Uh, yeah, Dayton did that, right? Oh, Dayton did it. Yeah, yeah. You did the Agonos one with me already. Yeah. Look at that, guys. We were just talking about the five, six uh, frame DPs. It won't work. I just want... I literally knew it was going to happen. I just wanted to show you guys. Now no S, I swear. Oh, well, rip. I'm still alive somehow. Ooh! This character's fucked up! Yeah, like, I, like that was actually an OS, because, like, if you backdash... Yeah! I'm, I'm, the man throw would have caught it, or if you did that, then uh, stab would have caught it. I <laughs> saw that! <laughs> I, I also... That's what I do. Like, wait a minute, this is an OS! This is fucked up! <laughs> I fucking got shit on just now. Okay. Motherfucker, you wanna fight dirty? We'll fight dirty then. I didn't want to show you this new tech I found. Power line, bitch! <laughs> no, no. Uh, uh. Eh, 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 eh. I went for it. I believed in my powers. Oh, you smart motherfucker. Oh, yes. Slag, please save me. Yes. Oh, fuck. It's not saving me. It saved me. I did meter. Oh, boy. That was so dumb. Eh, 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 eh. If you guys have any questions, let us know. Come here. Come here. Oh, fuck. That's interesting. Keep that in mind. Smart. Oh my god. Three resets. And the poison made it like... Essentially made it 50%. Well, not 50. Like 30. That was so dumb of me. I should have just went for this. Oh no.
watching your game is a pleasure. Thanks, man. Thanks for watching us, man. Me and Letalis love KI. Yep. A lot. Till we meet again. Fucking wish for all fines were back. I wish coronavirus is gone. Ow. I could have hit you. I didn't think about it. Oh, no. It's not yeah. true. Oh, now you hit a button. Oh, I had no meter. I guess that makes sense. Can I guess what you're learning? Ramifications for this matchup? Oh boy. That's punishable by law. Dad jokes are punishable here, bro. I'm gonna let you know. Oh my god, we just talked about that! We talked about that! Can't go over it! Fuck! Fuck, I couldn't get you. I couldn't see where you were at. That's a good whiff punish for that. <laughs> I'll take it. You back dash? <laughs> nice, Sue. Beautiful. <clears throat> the toxins. Ow, belly. I'm bad. Get punished by bullet. Uh, uh. Ow! Fuck! That hurt. Ah! No, I'm in a corner. Uh oh! I thought that was ultra. I made a mistake. Mistakes were made. Uh oh. Oh no. I love you guys when I was alive. Okay, worked. <coughs> I didn't know that was gonna work. I think it's just out of range. Yeah. <clears throat> this man has a family. I saw a post on one of those KI fan pages on another, like not the like the one we use, but like the, you know what I'm talking about the other one style. Yeah. And the guy was like, "Oh, in the next KI, I want a character to be Conra and and Hisako's child." And I'm like, "Uh, Hisako's like 17 years old and she's dead, and Conra's like a thousand years old and he's alive." So no. Why would they fuck? Why would she be horny to, to him? Why would a ghost have a baby? Or care about having a baby? A vengeful demon. That's kind of weird. Yeah. Uh, you might want to shut the fuck up, you know? Uh, uh, uh oh. That's gross, bro. She's 17 for one. Horny for sand, yeah. I love sand. It makes me so horny. I wonder if my pussy still works. I'm a, I'm a ghost. Yeah, he said it, and he was like, he was saying like, it's, it got worse. I'm like, she's dead, you know that, right? And he's like, that was weird. He's like, yeah, but she's still, she's a 17 year old legal in Japan, and I'm like, all right, bro, you're not in Japan. And we're not talking about fucking teenagers, please stop that. Like, cut that out. He was like really trying to defend it. Wait. Oh yeah, I know what you're saying, bro. I don't even want to talk about that. <laughs> and he was so serious. He wasn't even like, oh, just kidding. He was like arguing with me. I just stopped commenting. I'm like, alright, you're good. Leave you alone. I know what you jack off to now. Thanks for that.
Fuck, I should've just ended it with uh, advantage in the shadow and killed you. I'm dumb. Oh, I'm not Oops. dumb. I'm a genius, actually. We got a Chris Hansen on the line, like yesterday. <laughs> 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 Gotta get Chris Hansen. Uh, didn't he get in trouble for, like, human trafficking recently, actually? Yeah, he did, I actually. Know. I yeah. Heard about him in ages. He got in trouble for human trafficking, so I guess he's not really that good of a guy. Yeah. Turns out he's a weird fuck. Yeah. What's up, Marcos? Oh shit, I forgot he can do that. That was annoying. Please forget that he could do that. <laughs> oh fuck. That's like a one frame thing, so I probably wouldn't go for it anyway. The irony? Yeah. Oh fuck! Oh yeah, yeah, it goes over. So if you don't know this by now, uh, Shadow Knee goes over mids and lows. Yeah. It's weird. How much of TJ's autopilot? Maybe like 10%. Maybe like auto barrage. But even then, you have to have to think a little bit. TJ is very meticulous, actually. You have to be, you have to be like constantly taking risk and weighing out your uh, your options. Yeah, he's a read heavy character. Yeah. You kind of have to have huge balls and like a few dead brain cells to be good of TJ, like me. Oh, you son of a bitch, I'm actually dead! <laughs> Am I dead? I'm alive. Nah, instinct war. <laughs> I, got, I didn't get to use my instinct at all, my most fun toy. Fuck up. I'm still gonna beat your ass, you know that, right? I'm doing it. It's plus. Fuck, I didn't get meter. I'm an idiot. Alright, guys, watch this comeback. Sorry, Latath. I love you, bro, but I gotta do this for the. F <laughs> oh, you son of a. <laughs> oh! I was talking all that good shit until I got stabbed in the belly. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to kill a house grab. <laughs> <laughs> you what? It <laughs> stabs. Ow! All right, motherfucker. This is awful. This is free damage. Oh! <laughs> Try to interrupt the jab. Oh, you whore! <laughs> this is what I have to deal with if I don't have no meter. I have to take a risk and check him twice. All right, guys, this is not, it's not over yet, though. I hit him from behind and landed in front. Okay. Sounds fair. Oh, you son of a... Uh-oh. What? It reached. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He had mercy on my soul. Not really. He reset me for a million damage. A little lag there. It's okay. We don't mind a little bit. I'm doing it. No health to risk. Gotta go for the yellow. No, no, Granny, please, God. Oh, I could have backed that set. All right, all right, all right. No big deal. No big deal. No big deal, guys. Calm down, chat. You guys are getting out of hand. Love some KI, though. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh, belly punch. A plus four or a plus six after the power line and instinct.
What the fuck? What the heck? Uh oh. I'm gonna die. This character is so cool, bro. <laughs> he just comes back. He doesn't give a shit. <laughs> Go away. Go away, you fucking monster, bro. Go away. <laughs> die. Just. Dog! Oh, fuck. I don't want to get hurt not once. Fuck you, bitch! <laughs> oh my god, that was like eight situations where I should have hit him and he just didn't. Alright, 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 alright. Nice. Oh fuck. Over. Oh, too too early. Or oh, too late. Back up. Back up. Don't stab me. Oh well, guys, I love my life bar, but it is now down. It's gone. It's, uh yeah. I'm still alive. Holy shit. Okay. We break that. What the fuck? What is this thing? Oh no! I mean, uh, 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 uh. Go away. <laughs> I'm gonna game so hard right now, bro. You're gonna not even see it coming. Fucking dead! I'm actually dead! I knew it! <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I, had to, I couldn't avoid that. Oh. <laughs> this game. All right, all right. <laughs> Can't never give up, gamers. <laughs> Ow! Fuck up. Oh, fuck. I blew over that. Huh? Can I push that? Oh, no, I was doing that because I thought you were going to try and Oh, okay, okay. Oh, so I couldn't punish it. I, I, I didn't punish it. Oh, I'm a shadow emergence. Uh, yeah, if you're not ready for it, it can be tricky. I think. Mm, I see, I see. Ow. I'm doing it again. Oh, I'm not. I'm doing it again right here. Oh, my God. Let me do it. Just give me a... Let me just do it. Right, thank you, bro. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that, Terry. Now I'm alive and... not. You're not my ass anymore. Get off me! Eh, 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 eh. Punch! Punch. Uh-oh. Come here. Thank you. Oh, fuck! Don't do it. Oh my god. I finally got a game off of four losses in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Three or four, I forget what number it was. It was enough to make me want to beat your ass. <laughs> <clears throat> alright, alright. Ow! thought about it. Ow. God damn it. Just 
can't beat it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Eh. No! God damn it, my freeze frame, asshole! <laughs> Does that count? <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's my freeze frame, it belongs to me! Oh. Off me. Uh oh. Rip. I did it. Woke up crouching me and kick. I sure did. No whiff punish on that. Nice. Uh oh. Fuck. A fuck. Oh. All right, motherfucker. I'm dumb. I'm not. I'm a genius. Oh, you're gonna shadow counter me, be honest, bro. Oh, you shimmied me. I'm just gonna wake up with it. Jab. Okay, that doesn't work. He's too good. Okay, what should I do? What should I do? Stupid now. Hmm. Back dash? Eh, eh. What? I mashed. Oh boy. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Uh... Oh no, that was far enough. Yep. That was good. That was good. But why? Oh no. Why? Oh boy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Just be afraid. All the time. Ah, oh, you didn't shout on the merchants. Ah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this guy's gonna try, but ah, uh, no, he's not. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Game's tight. <sighs> Ow. The poison. Oh, Lord. Got a kiss. Oh yeah, jab jab into command throw, I forgot that's real. Oh, okay. <laughs> it is plus four, but I didn't hold yeah. up. Ow! This 
is a bad spot for Tej. For good old Tej. Okay, I'm just waking up with it. Fuck it. Eh. 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 Oh, I thought that was gonna reset that. Uh, 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 uh. It's funny how uh, funny how some of his stabs aren't even like stabs. He's like hitting at the side of the blade, like yeah. he's like punching you with the 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 blade almost. Hey, I realized we didn't talk about his ankles really. Oh yeah. I feel like one more fight after this, we could talk about his enders real quick and then go over his matchups. Yeah, sure. We'll do one more after this and do that. <clears throat> <clears throat> Try to like run through his matchups real quick because I gotta go get something to eat. <laughs> Not saying rush, but we could talk about him. I'm fucking hungry. I need all day. Nothing's open here, everything's fucking frozen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like we're fucking Disney up in this motherfucker. Oh shit. Oh shit, I did for Kamega, I thought I went for back uh backspin. Weird. Oh, he got me in the back. Nice how far. Just enough meter. Oh, never mind, you didn't do it. Oh, is that punishable? Close to me. I just smashed instinct jab. I put I wonder if you know what that means, right? Like that's like a three frame jab. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Make sure it's punishable because <laughs> Glitch in the system here, guys. I have one, one chip health, but I believe and never give up. Oh, he don't care about plus frames. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're talking about Enders now, guys. Yeah. Uh, GG's, they bro. Realize I didn't realize I didn't skip over that. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, they'll get to it in the video, motherfuckers. Yeah. But anyway, so his enders are actually kind of self-explanatory. So first, we have Dominus, which is Command Row. This is his damage ender. Typically, unless you're sure it's going to kill, I don't recommend going for it, just because he doesn't get as much off of it compared to all of his other enders. But like, yeah, that's like his, that's like him, uh, that's his damage ender, and actually, I'm going to build some here real quick. And naturally, you have the shadow version. <laughs> now, this one you should go for because he does get Oki off of him and everything. He's like good Oki. Like he does have one thing off of his normal damage where he can like flip out into flip out immediately after that. But that's like a one frame link, and I'm not even gonna try and get it right now. You gotta be hella close too, right? Like, it's not even worth practicing, honestly. It's like a one frame link, you can only really get it by mashing, kind of, but it ain't even worth it. Alright, so, 
After that, we have his Emergence Ender, which it applies Krill and has a hard knockdown. We'll also give him pretty good set play off of it because, you know, naturally a hard knockdown with this character anywhere. Mm-hmm. Terrifying. Yeah. So you, this is one of the two Enders I recommend using a lot for most matchups, just because you want the Krill on, and he has another Ender that that applies to that has a that has Krill to it. But I only rec recommend using it for characters without three frame reversals or anything. And that's his Rush Ender. Like it has Krill on, and it has decent corner carry in case you're not in case you're not close enough for a wall splat. It does have decent corner carry, so that's another good point to use it. Doesn't it add like five plus five uh, advantage? Yeah, he's like plus, he's plus four advantage after after okay. him, so like it's good to use for that. But like if a character has a DP, sometimes it's just better to go for the hard knockdown usually. Yeah, similar to TJ's. This is like it's very similar. Like TJ could do have an advantage in there as well, like right yeah. here. Like he could basically. Yeah, when he punches you in the gut after the auto barrage and everything. Mm-hmm. Plus four or five yeah. actually. I got a five frame link. A five frame one. Uh, shadow move will connect. No matter which strength he does, even if it's level floor for rush ender, it'll always leave him, leave him in range of light command throw at least. Okay, so but I think dude, that... I, yeah, talk about last last but not least, his most important ender is his on a wall splat. Like especially when you're in the corner, you're gonna find yourself using this one the most. Like naturally, you know, Rom's the scariest when he's in the corner. And this also does the most damage because like if, it, if you do a heavy command throw after it, it just does a lot of damage. Especially if you have Krill applied. And it, so you get damage and Oki from the corner. So it's better for Rom if he's in the corner just to go for this one at all times pretty much. Unless you're sure the damage under will kill for certain. But yeah, mm. those are his four enders. They're pretty self-explanatory and pretty straightforward given what the character is. You know, dominance is damage. Decimation is wall black. Emergence is on a hard knockdown and rush is just an advantage ender. That also applies cruel. Yep. Easy, easy to do. So after this guys, we're gonna go over his uh, matchups. We're gonna go to training mode at the same time. Just go over one at a time. Which how he does against both and maybe a small little uh, summary as to why he does bad or good against said character. And Latout never downplays or upplays. He truly believes his character is the way they are when he explains them. I've never heard him say shit. When others doubted uh, Rom, Latout wasn't upplaying here. Instead of he was actually believing in his character, and he proved to the world that Rom is as good as he is. So. Yeah, there's a lot of misconceptions I have about this character that people kind of have about who he'd actually lose to. Nice. So let's go over there to that and check it out. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and turn off this music because it's kind of loud in the game. Okay. To where they can just hear you real quick. Yeah, sure. Okay, so let's go to... Oops, that's the store button. Might be sure. here for a while. Okay, never mind. I want to see a how to handle difficult matches. Uh, Aceus actually isn't hard, but I'll go over that later. There's a lot wrong to do with that character. I'm going to practice mode right now, picking scare select. So okay. I'm at Jago right now. All right, so yeah, Jago, Rom beats Jago. Like I played this with all the best Jago players. They all agree that he wins the matchup. Jago's fireball game is only effective at a certain range. Like once he gets past that range, it just becomes ineffective because Rom can either force trade with the stabs and then like, or he can like shadow crush to punch the fireball every single time. So like Jago has to constantly stay at stay out of that range. The main thing is like we showed earlier, he doesn't have to respect J respect Jago's plus frames for the most part, and Jago can't really ma match his buttons. So mm -mm. that's why Rom ends up beating Jago usually. Yeah, he could throw me out of my crouching medium kick or like, and he outranges me. With with his throw on my jabs if I try to check him. Yeah, like, I've played it with Nate a lot. He said he, he you know, he likes the matchup because it keeps him on his toes. He definitely agreed that Rom beats Jago's ass. And, like, Thompson, when he was still around, he described having PTSD from playing the matchup with me. Oh, shit. Yeah. All right, but, so what about yeah, Wolf? Anyway, yeah, he has an advantage on Wolf because, like, he's one of the few characters that can really match buttons with Saber Wolf on the ground. And then, like, you know, Wolf without meter, he's not really good at dealing with hard pressure, which is just what Rom applied. 
match is pretty even. Like, you know, if I fight Flash or Paul B, just because they're pretty good in that area, especially Paul B now, like, I'm like they can beat me in the matchup. But, like, once Rom knock, knocks Wolf down, it's just hard as hell for him to deal with. Okay. Glacius. What about Glee? Yeah. This is actually a misconception about the matchup. The fight isn't bad as even. Like, yeah, Glacius can zone, but it's just as hard for Glacius to get out as, as, it, is, as it is for Rom to get in. Like, one thing to keep in mind, when fighting Glacius, all of his limbs can be hit. So if you see him throwing out jump normals, you can just throw out medium emergence to clip him right there and just slowly work your way in because Glacius will have the poison to fly to him and he can't really do anything to you from full screen. So True. just be calm, be slow, and then just let that do its work, and then just slowly work your way in towards Galatius. Just watch out for the shatters and everything, and you're pretty good. You can even once... cut a gap with the shatters with the, the run grab, right? Yeah, shadow frill rush. And then, like, that's another thing. If you have meter, Glacius isn't a, isn't allowed to put up hail, period. Because if you just put up one hail, you can react with shadow frill rush and just catch him every time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Glacius is a very capable zoner, and he has pretty high damage, so he can keep up with Rom in that area. But just once Rom get it, gets in and knock him down, it's just as difficult for Glacius to get out as, as it would be for Rom to get in. And hey, what about Thunder? Thunder? I think this fight's pretty even. Like, it's weird. Rom has the better buttons, but Thunder has the better vortex overall. So it's kind of like, just plays out like that, kind of. Mm-hmm. Rom's pressure is, like, a little stronger and he has better buttons, but, like, you know, Thunder's mix-up game being better than his, like, his buttons aren't, he's not so outclassed that he can't fight Rom in that area at all, so, like, he can just, he can, he can, just, he can get his mix-ups going. Okay, okay. Shadow Jago. Uh, yeah, this is sort of like a natural channel for him, just because of his mobility and everything. His mobility and his ability to force mix-ups from pretty much full screen is why he does beat Rom, uh, for the most part. You said, like, he, you said he beats Rom? Sorry. Yeah, he beats Rom. Like, I'm a, his, mainly due to his mobility and his ability to just force mix-ups from full screen. And then, like, Shago's one of the best zoners in the game. Mm -hmm. Like, the thing about Rom is his losing matchups is typically not going to be zoning alone as beats them. It's a mix of zoning and other tools the character has. Another strong thing about Shago's DP is that if he ever lands it, it just allows him to go full screen again. Like, they see the only person I see take advantage again. But if he lands a DP, he can just heavy slide right after to be full screen again. And, you know, then any landed fireball, if he has meter, Shago can convert into that. So it's just hard. It's just difficult, just difficult to get in overall just due to his mobility and just what he can do from full screen. Mm -hmm. All right. What about Sadira? Sadira. He beats Sadira due to due to how good his anti airs are mostly, and he can just force her into a ground fight for the most part. She can kind of play lame, but as long as rump, long as Rom knows when to anti air, he can just force her to into a ground fight pretty much every time and just like maul her there. Then like you know, Rom's pretty good at blowing up even even characters with strong defensive options. Rom can blow them up, let alone someone like Sadira. True. What about Orca? Uh, yeah. Not this matchup's even though I don't like playing it because it's annoying as hell. Like, he can match buttons with work. It's just, like, getting past a grenade can be a pain sometimes. Mm -hmm. But, like, once he gets in the stand hard punch range, it's all right. It's just, like, navigating past that grenade can be a pain in the ass. True. There's Fine. not much to say about that one. It's just straight footsies for the most part. What about spoil? Final loses just because his natural weakness against grapplers in general true you know rom not he doesn't really have his buttons aren't bad but they can't really match someone like rom so just once he gets knocked down like rom he just os everything he does on his wake up spinal constantly has to kind of he kind of has to not sit still in the matchup and he has to just be really good at pussies to play it mm -hmm. full gore it's hard, but as I've played it more, it's not as bad as I used to think. I used to consider this one of Rom's top three worst matches, but not so much anymore. Like, Fulgore is naturally one of the best zoners in the game, but he has to get his stuff going before he becomes that. Rom can make things happen beforehand. Like, there's things Rom can do when Fulgore doesn't have enough pips that he can really take advantage of. So, like, it's bad just because how strong Fulgore's zoning is, and, like, when, once he gets enough... Once he gets the ice skates, once he gets max, once when he gets max pips, you're not gonna catch him. But Bulgore has to work harder than I, harder than I realized to actually get to that point. Okay. TJ. 
Uh, yeah, we just played this, like, as we saw, TJ, he can play the neutral okay, just because the options he has off the power line, but just once he gets in the corner, once he has to deal with Rums buttons, it's just kind of over. You know, TJ has to make a lot of strong reads to really get out, which, like, his tool set allows him for, but the problem is if he's wrong on that read, he's just going to get punished hard. Yeah, command grabs so or something. He to, yeah, he has to play footsies with one of the, probably one of the best ground fighters in the game, and that's just, and his normals aren't really built for that. No, they're not. But I think it's like I said. I think it's in his favor. But I think like yeah. I said, TJ could definitely put up a little fight. Yeah, he can fight it fine. Like it's not like uh, not the, yeah, thing. yeah. It's like a six four, like a normal six four. All right, Maya. He has the advantage on Maya just because even though she can zone, her daggers do don't do any chip damage or anything. So like Rom isn't really inclined to rush his way in towards her, and then. Much like TJ, even though her buttons are good too, they just can't really match his either. And like Maya is another character who doesn't have the greatest defensive options. Like Rom can even stuff her shadow DP out with certain setups. Then like her shadow counter is pretty weak against him as well. So like once Maya is down, she just has a hard time actually getting out. And then like Rom isn't inclined to really rush anything versus her. And being able to absorb her unblockable is another big factor since Maya just can't throw out one of her strong. Oh yeah, can, can do that. Yeah. What about Con Rizzle? I'd say this is his second hardest matchup. The main that. reason is because of the curses. The curses, the long range command throws, and just all the scarabs and the obstacle course that Con Rob puts up along with uh, the most big body. Yeah. yeah big ass guy trying to go through a little tiny ass obstacle course. Yeah, he just has a lot of obstacle course. The only thing that keeps it from being his worst is because just how bad Con Rob is once he does it, once Rom does actually get his, hand, get his hands on him. And then, like, even if Conrad has the sand full screen, if you bait it out right, you can still punish him if he tries to explode. Mm -hmm. so, like, it's definitely among his hardest matches. So I wouldn't say it's his worst. Like, it's up there, though, for sure. Okay, so Riptor. Oops, I left the train. I think, Go ahead, can talk about it still. Yeah. I think she does have a... I think Riptor loses the matchup. Like, she can play a hit-and-run game pretty well, but there's just a lot of things Rom doesn't have to respect on her. Mm -hmm. Like, for one, Rom doesn't have to respect Talon Rake. If Riptor ever does it, he can just grill shield right ever. It'll beat every option. She'll either get counter hit, she'll get knocked down, or Rom will just absorb the tail flip if she tries that after. Or she gets forced to block, and you know that he's plus eight on that, so she has to hold that as well. Like, mm -hmm. Riptor can play a hit and running game decent enough, but like, run, once Rom is in heavy stab range, it kind of nullifies it. Since, like, even if she pulls out flame carpet, Rom can actually space his stab out, so it'll avoid the flame carpet, and he can still combo Riptor once it ends. So it's just hard for Riptor to really get her, get Rom off of her once he does get in. It's not that difficult for him to do so. Mm -hmm. Omen. So surprisingly, this is another even matchup. Like, yeah, Omen can zone pretty well, but unlike Shago, he can't really force the mix-ups from any from everywhere. And like Rom's anti-airs are so good, and he's hard to run a vortex on that shuts down a major part of Omen's game. So Omen has to stick to zoning and playing footsies, which a lot of people forget he can do that very well. He's one, he can do that with Rom, but it's just like not free on either side, really. Much like Glacius, it's just as hard for Omen to get out as it, as it is for Rom to get in. Hmm, okay, okay. Agonos. Another one of his worst matchups. Mainly because how good how good Agnos' neutral buttons are. He beats Rom in that area and just because of the extreme damage output he has on top of that. So you have to fight your way in without... You have to fight your way past the stand hard punch that you can't duck, that staggers. Agnos has incredible anti-air, so you have to be careful with your jumps. And then, like, although Rom can bypass the armor pretty well once he gets in, he doesn't remove it. So he has to be care He has to really be reading right on his throws and everything. Hmm. Then, like, Agnos doesn't have to respect certain things. Like, he doesn't have to block any... He doesn't have to block the stabs. He doesn't have to block Krill Shield because of the armor. So, like, you're just... It's a it's definitely an uphill fight for Rom all the way through until he can get in and remove the armor, just like run the vortex on him. I see, I see, I see. Isako. This is actually one of Rom's strongest matchups. The main reason is just the situation he, he can put Hisako in on knockdown. Like the main thing is she cannot parry unblockable attacks. So when Rom knocks her down, she just gets put in worse situations than anyone. Okay, okay. Like, the biggest thing is in the corner. Like, this isn't as easy to do online, but Rom actually has a full unblockable loop he can just keep doing on her off of his light throw. So, like, if Hisako gets knocked down, she's just going to find herself in a lot of messed up situation situations. Mm -hmm. Which means she has to play neutral pretty much perfectly. 
because while she has her own strong vortex, Rom also, almost always has a way out of hers, where she doesn't always have a way out of his. Okay, I said, I said, Cinder. This matchup would be bad if Cinder weren't such a weak ground fighter. Like, at worst, it's annoying, or maybe 5.5 .5 in his favor, but I think it's pretty even, having played with Basil a lot over the years and played Valorax and played Trevor, too. Like, Cinder zones pretty well, but he's such a weak ground fighter that it, that it kind of evens out. And, like, even with the burnouts, like, in order to get that, Cinder has to go where Rom's, Rom fights best at to even get that out, so... Like, he's taking a risk whenever he, whenever he approaches... Okay. Arya. So, yeah, this one is definitely his worst matchup. The main reasons being is Arya has the best mobility in the game when she's in a base body, and then, like, he can't really contest with her air game and boots body either, so it's a mix of those two bodies that give Rom the most trouble. I think this is one of the worst matchups in the game, maybe the second or third worst, in my opinion. It's definitely a 7-3 in Arya's favor, for sure. Like, the only way Rom really catches Arya is if she lets him. I see. I'll say that right now. If the Arya player doesn't know the matchup or she's just doing dumb stuff like that she shouldn't be. That's the only way he's really going to win the matchup versus her. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go to Kim Wu. Uh, Rom wins this matchup just because he straight up out footsies her. Makes a so lot of sense. She, yeah, she just can't really deal with his stand hard punch at all. Mm-hmm. Her buttons are good, but like her longest reaching one or stand medium punch, she just kind of loses to the priority system. Then Rom really doesn't have to respect her defensive options either. Like, if he spaces it, if he spaces it out right, he can actually just straight up grab her out of her shadow dragon kick, or he can just emerge to beat it like he would be with TJ's reversal. Mm. Then, like, although Kim Wu does great damage with meter, Rom will do more damage overall because he does he has better meterless damage than her. Uh, you gonna go over Kilgore or go to Tusk? Um, I like Tusk. I'm thinking about it. I think I'll just go down season three, then season three point five. Oh, okay. So yeah, this is another match that Rom wins, mainly because a lot of Tusk stuff can be interrupted by command throws. He kind of has to try and space them out with his normals, but. The way Rom's medium decimation works and the way his jump normals work means that Tusk can easily mess up trying to do that. The main thing is that Krill Shield can absorb most of his most of his sword normals and the fact that he can grab Tusk out of a lot of his block strings that most other characters wouldn't be able to. Like if he tries to do normal in the skull splitter, Rom can grab him out of it every time. He doesn't even need the meter to do it. So he kinda has to space him out perfectly with his normals at all times, or he can't because he can't really play Rom in the other other aspects of the fight. Oh, okay, okay. What about Arbiter? I used to think Rom won it flat out, but I think it's more on the evenish side. Maybe slightly favors Rom. Like Arbiter can play a decent, decent enough keep away game. Then, like once he gets his overshield, it kind of makes it hard for Rom on defense. On the flip side, Rom's buttons are better than his. Naturally, he kills much faster than Arbiter would. He doesn't require as much setup. He can just like run in and bulldoze him if he gets if he gets the knockdown. True. So maybe slightly favors. It's either slightly favors Rom or it's even. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. What about Rash? He fights Rash pretty well, actually. Because he forces Rash to actually play the ground game. Like, Rash kind of has to, like, play lame in order to beat Rom. The Wrecking Ball nonsense, it doesn't work on him. It can Because Rom can just absorb that and dash under Rash for a full punish. True. And, like, you know, Rash, once... You know, Rash, his one main weakness is that once he gets knocked down, he's kind of he's kind of free there. And then, like, you know, you get knocked down by Rom, of all people, you're going to die. Yeah, yeah. So, like, you know, naturally Rash's neutral game being so strong means it's not bad for him. But, like, he has to, he actually has to use it for once instead of just going wild. Mm -hmm. All right, let's skip to Mira real quick. Another bad matchup for him just because, like, her high mobility and zoning as well as her extreme damage output. Mira. I can see so that. like you can't you can't risk absorbing things versus Mira because she can just go in if you mess up she just goes in and does a fifty percent one chance right there and then you have to be careful with your jump trying to jump over to bats as well it's better to just kind of slowly work your way in because if she jumps over to bat you can try and jump over to bats Rom's jump arc is so floaty that she can typically anti earn pretty well and then like go into a recapture she could probably even so, like, miss at a lot yeah. of his setups right. No, he deals with misform pretty well. Actually, you just have to kind of stick to light meters, then you can just like 
Uh, ah, yeah. Gotcha. Range. So, like, he can deal with that. Once he gets in on her, he can deal with that pretty well. And naturally, the nature of Mira's character, that fact that she has to use blood for her, her, her best options, means that it's not too bad for him. Mm -hmm. But she definitely wins the fight. Gotcha. What about Gargos? This is his worst matchup outside. I'm a Arya and Khan Ra. The main reason is once Gargus gets minions, it almost gets impossible to actually get in on them. So you have to stop him before that actually happens. Another aspect of the fight is that Gargus's command throws they'll actually beat Roms out because they're slower. So it's hard. So you have to be careful trying to play a grappler game on him as well. Oh, I see. I see. Gargus having a quad jump doesn't make things easier either. You kind of have to make a read on that to stop that. Mm -hmm. Of course, naturally, Gargus is another character who's weak on knockdown. So once Rom gets in, he's in. But definitely among his hardest matchups next to Ar Arya and Khan Ra. Okay, okay, okay. What about. No, I'm just kidding. General Rom. No. It's even, guys. All mirror matches are even, okay? Let's yeah. get that out the way. Uh, Idol. Surprisingly, he actually deals with Idol pretty well, mainly because naturally he can outbutton the warrior form, but even deal with mage form, he has a lot of advantages other characters wouldn't. Like, the one thing is, you know, that jump power push that Idol has that a lot of couple characters have trouble dealing with he can just shield through that then punish idol on the way down mm -hmm. you have to be careful jumping just because idols back medium punch is such a great anti-air versus him but as long as you're calm and work your way in he can fight idol pretty well like if he's in warrior the fight might actually favor rom and then like he can deal with he has tools to deal with mage form then that he actually sense. has pretty good counterplay against idol's instinct as well mainly because of uh, his shadow command throw it blows up a lot of stuff and then like you know being able to do shadow emergence it'll, it'll um, uh, go through a lot of, a lot of idols used to Usual shenanigans and instinct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. All right, let's go to Kilgore. The matchup is surprisingly even as well, mainly because eventually Kilgore will overheat, which is a lot, which allows more chances for Rom to eventually work his way in. So yeah, Kilgore definitely has the tools to zone Rom out. It's definitely not a matchup I play. I play Agnos or Tusk before it. Agnos or Tusk for it over Rom any day, but because it's definitely annoying as hell, but he can deal with Kilgore pretty well, actually. Another thing that helps is that Kilgore, his DP, is it sucks at dealing with armor moves, so even Creel Shield is pretty powerful against him on Wake Up, and naturally being a grappler, it help, you know, he can just punch a lot of Kilgore stuff, because, like, Kilgore's offense isn't great. He kind of has to stick strictly to zoning, unless he's an instinct, maybe, where he gets more plus frames, but, you know, it's one of those matchups where it's just as hard for Rom to get in as, as it is for the opponent to get out. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It's like Glacius, pretty much. Yeah. What about Shin Hisako? He loses this matchup just because it's really hard for hard to keep her pinned down because of her back dash, and it's one of the few cases where her buttons are better than his. So if she wins the pussy game, it's just kind of hard for him to keep her pinned down overall. Mm -hmm. Like, he can do it once he gets in just because her, her defensive options are pretty easy to OS overall, you know, because of how far forward her DP travels and, like, slices in a real wake-up, which... I wish Shin players would learn that already, but yeah. And plus, that Sonic you know, Boom might be a lot of the little projectile might be a problem too, huh? Yeah, that's a problem. Just like you know, she has she has a really <laughs> solid runaway game versus him just because of her back dash, her better buttons, and like the orb. Mm -hmm. It used to be his worst matchup due to a bug with the orb, but now it's like you know it's not too bad. Not as bad as it used to be, at least. Yeah. Yeah. Last but not least, Eagle. So surprisingly, he actually kind of beats Eagle. Oh, that's a surprise. You can, ask, you, you can ask any Eagle player. They don't like this matchup for good reasons. Eagle can definitely zone, but he has to be absolutely perfect. Yeah, because then once Eagle's on the ground, he's fucked. Yeah, he has to be absolutely perfect. And surprisingly, Rom's anti-zoning options are pretty effective against him. Mm -hmm. And like Eagle, he just can't run a vortex on Rom for long period because like he can actually grab, he can actually use his shadow command throw to grab Eagle in between the birds for each of all things, and like, Emergence just shuts down so much of his, show, so much of his Vortex. Like, you'll hear Baser Dayton, like, I even played for Mookie, they didn't like the matchup after playing it. For okay. good reasons, it's just like, <clears throat> you know, like, Eagle can, Eagle's definitely one of the best zoners in the game, and he can definitely zone Rom out, but he ha he can't afford any a single mistake in that game, like, you know, like Glacius can because of his damage, or Kill War can because he has to hide. He has to he has to come back back for his one chance stuff. Yeah, I understand that. So okay. yeah, like I don't, I almost, I don't want to say it's a hard six four or anything, but it kind of it does kind of favor Rom for that factor, just due to the, it's one of the highest damaging characters in the game versus the lowest lowest damaging character in the game who has crap defensive options. 
Okay, okay, okay. So real quick recap: top three and top top three best and top three worst matchups for uh, Rom. I say top three are Maya, Hisako, and like I'll say Jago. Top for his three best. Worst. Yeah. Okay. Top three worst are Arya, Conrad, and Gargus. Okay. okay. Overall, I think he loses eight matchups, wins like ten or so, and just goes even with the rest. That's a pretty good character, then. Okay. Well, you guys, um, that was the Agano. I mean, Agano. <laughs> excuse me. General Rom breakdown from the Agonos and General Rom Master. Also, Great Tusk and Riptor. Uh, Letalis Venator. So, uh, yeah, man. Thanks for taking literally three hours out of your day to explain this character to me, man. Awesome. I have a lot of free time for a little while, at least until I look for something else. But okay, okay. So, um, yeah, real quick, if you want, if you guys want to, if you want to, uh, Letalis, can you tell them where to find you on social media and on Twitch? If you have it, uh, uh... Twitter is the same. It's the same as my gamer tag, just Letalis Venator. Twitch is some of uh, the same thing. It just has an underscore in between the two names. That's it. Okay, guys, Letalis underscore Venator for his Twitch and Letalis Venator, just like an Xbox tag for his uh, Twitter. Make sure you guys leave him a follow. He does post a lot of fucked up uh, videos <laughs> in terms of, like, shit that he finds in the lab with his characters. Like, it's so that fucked up. Was going up for three days. <laughs> Bro, the Agano shit is, like, 80%, 90%, uh, one ch zero chance. Uh, anyway... <laughs> Yeah, so guys, thanks again for watching and supporting the stream. I'm going to cut it here short. Um, I, I would play more, but I'm just kind of tired and hungry. Uh, I appreciate everyone who supported. And yeah, dude, I appreciate everyone who supported the stream and who's been here watching and also been subscribing and donating. I did see it. I just had it muted for the stream's purposes. I don't want to have like him explain something and then like freaking, I don't know, somebody came screaming in, you know what I mean? So I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Uh, I'm going to throw it off to Nikki though. So make sure you guys say hi to Nikki for me and let him know that we rated you. Once again, Letalis, man. I appreciate you, bud. Um, hopefully we could yep. do some more together with some other characters that you learn. Uh, uh, who else if, we... I feel comfortable, if I do feel comfortable comfortable enough with idol later on i'll do him too but like i still don't think he's like quite tournament ready yet so I, i'd say if you do want to do that maybe talk to opus he, if he can do it or something maybe i want to actually get like you and alvaro to do it together like like alvaro speaks yeah. bad english but he could still do it like yeah, i think I, was to say, I wouldn't i wouldn't mind that we can I'm sure we can go overcome the language barrier yeah maybe have a translator in there or something you know because i think that'd be sick yeah um pretty sure like a translator or something like that or who anything. base yeah, base would be perfect. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks again for real. It's been awesome. I love doing these. I'm gonna do more. I don't know when the next one's coming. Maybe this weekend. We'll see. Um, if you guys want to request some characters for me to break down, you know, go ahead and uh, you know hit me up on Twitter. If you guys want to check out where to find these breakdowns and where to, where they will be, uh, check out this link right here and make sure you leave a follow on my YouTube because this is where all the breakdowns will be. It's going to be on a... There's actually a playlist for breakdowns. And we did it. Me, Letalis, did a couple characters already. Um, yeah. And a couple other players did a couple characters. So we have about, like, 16 characters already. Uh, maybe 13, actually. This will be the 14th character. Yeah, I remember that. 14th character we've broken down so far. And we still have a couple characters to go. I think we're missing Riptor, Omen, just an, off name of two... Uh, and Cinder, like, to name a few off the top of my head. Those are, like, a few characters that we need to do. Yeah. Yeah. And I would love to do it. Uh, so, yeah. If you guys have any questions or anything, see you later. We'll check, check it out on Twitter, okay? All right. Have a good one, folks. Thanks again, brother. I'm going to get some food. No problem. Have a good one, man. Yeah, thank you, man. I'll see you later, homie. All right.